Does Rick Tauber play in any bands currently? No, right? Fucking bitch. <laughs> what was the last band he was in that? Uh, like Sky Machine? Yeah. New setup here. I'm getting used to it. <laughs> yeah. All right. I just don't like having the laptop in front of me. <laughs> yeah. It's distracting. To not have it there? To have it there is distracting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I'm like always looking at it and then. I, I don't know. I tweak it every yeah. know, twice a show, maybe, uh-huh. and even then, it's not necessary. This thing pretty much runs itself. Mm. All right, we're good, dude. We're guess what? What's up? This Thursday, me and Alex are going on Cali Death Podcast. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm so Fuck fucking yeah. excited, dude. I can't wait. That'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. Sick. All right, we're good. Yeah, we've been good. Oh, we're, sick. We're, what up, everybody? It's Jason and Bill with uh. Another episode of Nothing's for No One. Is this running? Did I turn that can- or did you turn that on? I don't no. I didn't press it. Should I press it? Press it. Press that top one. There we go. Hey, okay. Now we're there running. we go. Is this one not going? Oops. There we go. Okay. What's up, everybody? <laughs> this is Jason. Those are running. So <laughs> yeah. At least they got seen first. Yeah, cool. So they got the timing. <laughs> well, we're here post our show. Yeah. Post show day. The show you we were promoting for episode after episode after yeah, episode months on end <laughs> jesus man so if yeah. you missed it and you listen to the show that's on you <laughs> yeah but yeah it was awesome it was the shit dude it was so much fun yeah it was awesome that was like perfect yeah it couldn't have gone any better if, yeah. if anything it went better like than yeah than i expected and not that i expected it to be bad in any way shape no. or form but it was just it was awesome mm-hmm. and like it was just cool. I mean, I'm sure you feel the same way, but just seeing like so many familiar faces that oh yeah, it was probably awesome. haven't seen in like over a year. Yeah, I mean, at least everybody you know? together, you know. Yeah, like, in like one room. Yeah, I was like, that was the most gathering of people, of friends of mine I've ever seen in yeah, so long. It's pretty wild. It was cool. Some people, yeah, I had seen in you know doses here and yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, of course. Like um, I'd seen Gobo, obviously, right. and Gabe, and I see those. I've seen them shit all the time. Alien Paris. I've seen a bunch of other people, but I haven't seen those guys like all in the room together. Yeah, right. I saw like Gobo and Gabe and Eddie LaParis talking to each other outside at some point last uh-huh. night. And then uh some I forget who it was, but somebody looked at me and they were like, Yo, I think the old something is waiting is getting back together. <laughs> like and I was like, Sick, you what do you mean? Like Eddie's rejoining the band. So I just went over there and I just kept calling I didn't even say anything about it. I was just calling them the three kings. I'm like, dude, this is like the meeting of the three kings and they were all just laughing. That's awesome. Yeah. There was jokes of that, like <laughs> yeah, it was funny. We're smooth and Eddie, we're gonna try to get him back in. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it was so much fun. It was so great to see everybody, and all the bands were sick as fuck too. Hive was fucking awesome. They were loud as a motherfucker. Yeah, they did sound dude. really fucking loud. And that last band uh, in the company, the company of serpents was really cool. I was very surprised. I shouldn't say surprised. I was very impressed because I'm not. I'm not usually into that type of like do metal shit but they had a good a handful of like some death metal-y parts and some really cool groove shit going on and that that drummer uh i think what was his name jp or j i think his name was jp he he introduced himself to me Mm -hmm. super nice dude and uh he also plays in vermin womb Who's that sick ass grind band Immortal Bird toured with a while back? Oh, they did really? like a week oh, with that. that's on no. But like that okay. dude is a fucking incredible drummer. Like, and even watching him last night, I was like, damn, this guy's sick. Mm. But like, here I was like, oh shit, I didn't even connect those dots, and I was like, oh yeah, he like knows how to rip too. I heard there was like because Nate was like joking with him about like blast beats and stuff. And I was like, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> but now I get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he definitely knows how to blast that guy. That's funny. But uh he was a very sweet dude. Yeah, it was just sweet. It was fun all around. We sold a fuckload of merch, which was sick. Yeah, we were talking earlier. It's funny cuz like we're, we're like, "Yeah, it's kind of an interesting choice. You guys went like blue and yellow." 
It was kind of a black shirt crowd. We're like looking around and like everybody was in a black shirt minus like two dudes, I think. The yeah, whole I know. <laughs> yeah, me being one of them probably. Right. <laughs> you know? But people were the buying guy, them, Danny dude. Was in a white shirt and there was another guy yeah. in a white shirt. And I knew everybody in our band was going to. name, Zoe? Was in like a bright yellow. Yeah, like, that, that sick construction worker yeah, shirt. That was yeah. awesome. <laughs> that was pretty sick. The high vis. She was very cool. She was Shout awesome. Shout out Zoe. Really Shout nice. out Empty yeah. Bottle. They crushed it and they treated us so fucking well. Like took me back to like, I didn't have to like reach out to settle up, which was awesome. They approached me and they were like, come behind the bar. So I went behind the bar at empty bottle and I was like, go oh, behind the bar at empty bottle. <laughs> but like, you know, she broke down everything for me as far as how many people came, how many tickets were sold in advance and walk up. And like nice. she broke down all the money and I, she, I, she had me sign before I took the payment, except, you know, accepted the payment. And mm. I was like, all right, you know, like, yeah, it's, it's bottle, nice man. and legit. Always, like, yeah. Super professional. It was very, very cool. Which is why I'm surprised we played there. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was just, it was awesome, dude. Man, it makes me want to play there more. But that stage is just so fucking hot, dude. Like, that's... Yeah, it was warm. It was it, also very small, but you don't... I mean, you're not totally affected by it like we were, like... No, you guys were so close together. Oh, I like, mean, I mean, I was just close to the end of the stage. Too, I know. You know well, I had to set because my kid, I had to set up like a certain way because of all the, well, for the listeners, empty bottle stage is shaped like a V almost. Yeah, it's a corner stage. Yeah. So it's One like they had amps, so many amps along the side. So for me to even set up my kit, it already had to be in front of those. Right. And then it was just like, oh yeah, it's going to be another one of those. One of those Squeezers. days, yeah. yeah I mean, a, it's, ain't no I'm Reggie stage. It's but one of the downfalls of like. I like that shit though. I what? think that shit is cool. When it's like sometimes the cramp stage vibe, I think is sick. Oh, I hate it, but really, I'll do it. yeah. I thought it looked cool. Very nah. good, like power move because it's like so much, can, so it, much going on in our band. It just sucks because like it was funny because we were talking the the one dude in the company of serpents where. He was like, yeah, we did a show with like he was like name dropping some big bands that I was like, I don't know what that is. Uh-huh. But, and uh, he was like, yeah, we had like, you know, this much food of like space on the stage. Yeah. And I was like, oh, cool. Well, you're doing that to us. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what is this? What goes around comes around shit, man. Like, I'm not the band that did. You know what? You know? At least they're not one of those bands that makes keeps their drums striked up on stage. Yeah. yeah that's that's, that's the always worst fucking shit. Dick. Move, yeah, I hate man. that. But nope, then that band Hive like had those giant fucking cases on wheels that they used to like. Yeah. Raise their cabs up, which that lost like a lot of real estate for us. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right. It's like, dude, you're already like loud enough. Like, you don't need those things up there. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Who knows? They aesthetic. were sick, though. Yeah. I definitely dug. It. Yeah, aesthetic. Not my vibe. But I didn't, you know what? Unfortunately, I did not catch any of the bands afterward because I got stuck outside all. <laughs> really, you didn't see any of any of any other sides. I walked in and I was like, yeah. I was like, fuck! I can finally catch like this fucking band in the company of Serpents, and they were like, done. Mm-hmm. All right, good night. And I was like, fuck. Uh, <laughs> I was like, great. Awesome. Yeah, that's funny. Because like was, every time I yeah. tried to walk away outside, somebody else would pop out and be like, oh, what's up? And, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. and just like, go. I just got tag team all fucking night. Yeah. And I never got a chance to come in. <laughs> I was talking a bunch outside. Plus, I, I wasn't drinking, so I had no reason like, be like, oh, yeah, I need to get a beer. Here. So, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. And it was nice outside. Yeah. Great weather. Nice and cool. Yeah, it's fun. I always love fucking hanging out outside at shows. It's like my favorite part at this point. <laughs> but yeah, that was cool. Yeah, it was fun just seeing everybody, man. Yeah, that was, that was great. It was shit. funny playing the guessing game because everybody was wearing masks. Uh-huh. And it was so funny watching people like walk by each other and like second, you know, again, like that second look. Like, uh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, there were so many people. It was so like, good. That's how I met Lacey last night. Like oh, she <laughs> came in and came up to me. She was like, you must be Jason. And I'm like, I am. <laughs> I am the one. <laughs> and she was just like, oh, my name's Lacey. And I was like, oh, my God. And then like gave her a big hug and then me and Sam talked to her for a minute and oh, nice. her and Sam fucking hit it off last night. Oh, cool. Big time. Yeah. Shout out to Sam, by the way, who did our merch yes, and crushed Sam. it. Yeah. Like she was killing it and was on top of it and was selling and her it first like, time. Right. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So. Crushed it. Yeah, she really did. She might be new to the best, uh, world's <laughs> best merch guy. <laughs> yeah, for real. Sorry, David. Yeah, Thrones she, yeah, she might have lost buddy. it, dude. But uh, <laughs> that was really sick. Yeah, it was just oh, yeah. a lot of fun, man. It felt good. Yeah, there was another person we were talking about before we started. Like, I did not get a chance to talk to Lacey at all. I felt so yeah, fucking bad. Yeah. Because I was out, outside the whole time. I think yeah, she was, she was inside in, most of the time. I think. Yeah, and that was when I walked in. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't like... I saw her for like a second with Nate and I was like, I guess that's Lacey. I had no idea. I've never seen her before. And then eventually I think when we were in like the front room, 
is when she like introduced herself and I was like, Oh, Hey, what's up? And I was like, <laughs> Nice to die. And then like somebody was like, Hey, I need you over here for a second. I was like, all right, I gotta go. And then yeah, that was it. I feel bad, but hopefully we'll get to hang out. <laughs> in the future, yeah. It know? would be sick. It would be nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was sick though. It was so much fun being there, hanging, wanging, <laughs> fucking chilling. Dude, how are you feeling leading up to the show that day? Um, I was feeling pretty excited. Yeah. yeah, I was like actually nervous. It was weird. Oh, really? I never felt like that. Danny before. was really nervous too. I was yeah. not nervous about the performance shit for some reason. No, I don't know if it was like the performance, but it was just like the whole day I had like a knot in my stomach and just felt kind of oh like really funky. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, man, this is weird. I've never felt like this before. As soon ever. as soon as I got home from the Dahlia show, because Gobo dropped off the shirts and my dad ended up grabbing them for me because he <laughs> left them on the porch and I wasn't uh-huh. home. Uh, but when I got home for the Dahlia show, I ran upstairs and I grabbed the box. And as soon as I saw those shirts, I was like, fuck, let's go. <laughs> like I was so stoked. And that's what like, that was like the thing where I was like, all right, we're going to hustle these. It's going to be sick as fuck. <laughs> like, yeah, I was cool. And like, I think I could have been nervous, but I actually think the weed I smoked throughout the day really helped me. <laughs> like, even yeah. Yeah. Just like it helped me with when we were loading out, it was awesome. Cause it was like, I was nice and calm and it was just like, yeah, just pick shit up and move it. Like mm-hmm. don't overthink how you're going to do everything. Cause that's me in my head, you know? And I'm like, <laughs> oh, I'm getting anxious over nothing. And it's like, oh yeah. And then we loaded out no problem and like you know same thing where it was like you guys went to go get food so i lit up the bong and mm-hmm. fucking set up my kit and then i was like oh you know i i like you know troubleshot everything and made sure shit was cool and it was i mean for the condition my kid is in it's not a pretty good last night <laughs> so yeah. yeah the new uh, heads helped yeah. oh big time yeah, yeah they sounded the, way better <laughs> oh my god yeah it was yeah it was as good as it could have been you know what i mean it was definitely like I was definitely self-conscious about it for sure. You know, like having cracked cymbals sucks to play with, but it's not like you could pick up a $20 pair of strings. It's like $600, you know, out of your pocket. And, uh, yeah, it, it's, it was just a lot of fun though, that people were still really into it. And, uh, yeah, everybody was super responsive to the show. And yeah. Banging their heads. So it was really just cool. enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it just looked like there was a lot of people there was, which yeah, was cool. Was, yeah. And, yeah, I but yeah, as far as my feeling, I, I wasn't too nervous about it. Yeah. No. I thought it would be and I I was like waiting for that to kick in and I was like, no. I was probably I was nervous like 2 minutes before we started a little bit. I was like, well, I'm hot as fuck, here we go. <laughs> but then like once we pass through Vatican City and I'm like, okay, you know, <laughs> the wheels like, have right, fallen off. We're doing, doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, my hands are doing all right. Like, because I was playing with new sticks too for like the first time. I have not, oh, wow. I hadn't played any sets with them beforehand, but uh, I just picked up those Vic Firth like 5B Extreme. So they have the longer taper, mm. which I like because it's easier for the finger blasts because you get a little more fulcrum on all that shit. Nice. Um, they sounded good though. I mean, it felt good when I was playing with them nice. and, uh, but it was definitely like, I could feel like when we were playing uh morning cube, I could feel like my right hand going like, Whoa, okay. I need practice with this, these sticks. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, it was great. You know what I mean? Like leading up to it. I don't even remember. Cause like <laughs> I was just talking to so many people that I wasn't even thinking about myself anymore. You know, and like, oh, yeah. And then I like looked at my phone. I was like, 920. And I was like, oh, fuck, we got to go. <laughs> and yeah. Because I set up. That was the- like the longest 10 minutes in the world for sure, though. Really? For me. Yeah. Because <laughs> I kept checking my phone and I was like, I'm just standing next just to the stage. I'm like, well, what do I do? Do I go up there? Do I not? And I didn't really. That's what sucked is that like. I had to leave my snare up there and like, I couldn't really, Oh, do your practice pads? I could, well, I, I could, I did it on like the bench sitting awkwardly, but I didn't Mm. get to warm up to like my full extent. I did as much as I could and I stretched, which helped for sure. But, um, yeah, it it was just like, fuck. I wish I had like my pad, like (laughs) in a better spot for me to just sit down and like drill for like a half hour. But I did some drilling and like I had it on the pool table for a minute. Then I got yelled at for that. And I'm like, I get it. But Mm. like, you know who yelled at you what are the guys that work there really yeah they were like no that's not a line of the pool table and i'm like okay but the cat shitting all over is fine yeah i I guess cat shitting on it is fine i mean i think it was covered in cat hairs yeah there was uh, god forbid you put your fucking price i know right there There was beers on there they were trying to get rid of too like can't leave your drinks out of here okay that i totally get yeah fuck up the table yeah Yeah. Mm, whatever but a practice pad if anything you were preventing 
our idiot bandmates from playing pool. Yeah, I mean, we're <laughs> some of the worst pool players I've ever seen. All right, oh Danny God. was pretty good, honestly, man. It took him a while to warm up. Eventually, he got better. But yeah, man, he was making some sick trick shots at the end there. Was though. he? Yeah, I was telling him, I was like, dude, if an alien came down and saw you guys playing pool, they'd be like, oh, I get how this game works. You have to <laughs> knock in your opponent's balls to eliminate him, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Because he was knocking in all of Nate's balls like the On whole accident. Time. Yeah, yeah, it was so funny. I was like, what the fuck? Well, Frank will try to say that was illegal too. Do you remember that? He's like, you can't knock my ball to knock yours in. No. I'm like, yes, you can. He hit the eight ball. He used the eight ball to combo, which I don't think you can do. You can use the eight ball to combo? I mm-hmm. thought you can. I don't think you can. I thought, that's interesting. Gabe, Alex would know. Chime or in. Gabe, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was just as long as the eight ball doesn't get sunk. No, I'm pretty sure you can't combo off of it. <laughs> that's weird. I think. I don't know. I barely play pool. As Pool's so sick. <laughs> I want to be better at it. I'm okay at it. I'm not horrible. I'm not great, though. I'm not good at all. Yeah, I like it though. It's so sick. I like to play if it's as long as it's like a just for fun, like yeah. low stakes or whatever. Nah, I want to enter a tournament and lose, <laughs> lose, lose a grand. Round. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lose immediately. That shit is sick though. I like their pool table though. That that vibe there, but it's a really small room, mm-hmm. which sucked. Is like like let's do it merch and like everybody was like, hey, you're in the way. I'm like, you know what? I'm trying to set up merch, you motherfuckers. <laughs> like, come on. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was I. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was good. It was fun. It was I. Uh, I was telling Gabe, I was like, yeah, leading up to it, we had a couple of practices where it just felt and sounded really good. So yeah. that kind of gave me the confidence. Like, oh, we're fine. Yeah, exactly. If we since we did that on Wednesday and Thursday back to back, I felt like I'm good. I mean, even the week before, we had like a practice where I think it was like us minus Franco, and I was like, wow, yeah. we sound like good. Mm-hmm. You know, like we could play the show. The next oh day, yeah 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 fine. absolutely yeah but yeah I, I, that helped the practice we took was confident. was smart i think you know but it's funny gabe was like really nice about it like he was just like giving us so much praise oh i know show. yeah he great. came up to me and was like this is a show yeah. everyone will remember yeah. i'm like damn okay <laughs> sick i hope so yeah and i hope like, so too man you know even if it's like, like it the really last good. one we get to do for a while god forbid knock on wood yeah but like <laughs> Yeah, it's I said a, that today, like in a Facebook post. I was like, if that was the last show for a while, I'm yeah. fine. Like, that was a good one. That was really good. Yeah. I can live with that for a bit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, um, yeah, people were asking if we had any other shows lined up. I was like, nope. I was like, we got nothing. Like, Yeah. You know, we, this was kind of a trial run for us just to see, like. What's going on? What is the yeah. climate. current climate of it all right now? And yeah, yeah. Granted, I mean, I think it's a little biased with Empty Bob because they're just so professional about everything. Yeah. That it. I was like, that's the best position you can be in as far as shows and yeah. you know, time like this right now. It's like how they did it. And I was like, yeah, perfect. Well, they, they were so tight too about Vax cards and all that shit, which was mm-hmm. good. I mean, tighter than any other venue I've been to. Since. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've heard playing it like horse. Yeah, it's people. been very like, and when I was at Concord for Black Dahlia, it was like, if you had a drink, you didn't have to have your mask all the way on. So it was just like, and then people didn't have it on. And it was like, oh yeah. And it was a sold out show there. So, well, uh, so Gobo went to that Psycho Las Vegas, uh, oh, yeah. show and all that stuff. And uh, I knew uh, one of my coworkers went too. Oh really? Yeah. But he was telling us it was so funny. Like, cause they have, you know, it's just like any place where it's like, if you're eating or drinking or smoking, you can you take the mask off. <sighs> and so Gobo was like, He's like, yeah, dude, pounded drinks, pounded cigarettes. And he's like, and then I just had like this giant thing of popcorn. So I was just like eating <laughs> just so his mask was off the whole time. Just so he didn't have to wear I don't think he was mask, doing it just for that, but, but it was just so funny. Off. Was like, yeah, yeah, he was just like, it was always off because I was always doing something. <laughs> mm. I was like, that's a, that's a good move, man. You can eat a lot that of that funny. stuff. It's low cal, you yeah. know? <laughs> But it was good. Everybody was really good. It, it seemed like for the most part with the masks, um, a couple of people were getting a little lax at the, towards the end, but they're all fucking drunk. Yeah. So I, I totally understood, but I don't think anybody got in trouble. Right. Um, not that I know of. I didn't notice. No. I mean, the worst thing I saw was, uh, my buddy Blake cleaning up a broken glass that apparently it was that one girl that did it. Uh, Danny's girlfriend's friend. Yeah. That was so funny, dude. Dude, She, she mentioned, kept- I was like, that was fucking you. And she's like, yeah. I was like, dude, what the fuck? Oh, I got all night. She just kept coming up to me and was just like, I dried through the glass. Cause I loved your music so much. And I was like, I, okay. Like where did she get the shirt from? She bought it. She had it on before the show. Like, no, 
Are you sure? Yeah, I met her when she like first showed up. Oh, because like I saw her pull up with Danny's girlfriend. Yeah. And I was like, who the fuck is this? Because I, obviously I never uh, yeah. met her before. I was like, who, who the fuck is this? She's rocking a Roman Reigns shirt. <coughs> Like yeah, somebody's she like bought little sister. There. Like, what the fuck? She going bought, on? They bought shirts like right when they showed up. Oh, yeah. okay. Which was awesome. Shout out to both of them for real. Like, they both spent a lot of money, which oh, was wow. sick. Yeah, yeah, they both bought like a bunch of shit. So oh, nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, shout out. They were cool, and I know. It seemed like they had a lot of fun. Yeah, they really did. <laughs> Is they, Danny's girlfriend like at all in a medal? No, yeah, no, I no, 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 so. no. Yeah, yeah. I invited. She was really nice about it. <laughs> when Brockhampton did their uh, Roadrunner live stream at Rick Rubin's studio. Mm-hmm. I invited them over to come watch it because I was like, this isn't metal. It's like hip hop and pop. Mm. So it's like, why wouldn't you like this? And they both ended up liking it. They were like, wow, these guys do everything. Like, this is really sick. And, you know, I know what it's like for you know sam like can hang pretty well sam's not into like she's not gonna listen to visceral disgorge anytime <laughs> soon but it's like she's like so she unfazed at this point yeah. Yeah, yeah and i mean she's listened to enough putridity with me to know like oh okay you know You're this right. is what it is blah 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 like light it like light comparison yeah like yeah exactly yeah. so it's like her going to these shows it's not so out of the it's box not, not very intolerable um <laughs> but it was so funny dude i forgot i don't know if i told you this but like i ran into mark okubo at the black dahlia show right when we were leaving yeah. Yeah. yeah and like so my one of my girlfriend's favorite bands is dance gavin dance she mm. loves that band and like uh I got to have a nice rock star moment because like Mark recognized me because he was oh, talking nice. to Brody when we were leaving and I was like, oh, see you later, Brody. And then like he came up and hugged me and then Mark was like, Jason. And I was like, yeah. And he came up and gave me a huge hug. And oh, I was nice. like, oh, what's going on, man? And we were just shooting the shit and he was telling me he's moving out to LA and he was like, yeah, I'm about to leave for tour. And I was like, oh yeah. I was like, you guys are about to tour Dance Gavin Dance, right? He's like, yep. And Sam was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like... Yeah, she was very like, whoa, that was really cool. So that was fun. Nice. Yeah, very weird, like, connection, but it's fun. Yeah, it made oh, me yeah. feel good. Yeah, so yeah. that was fun. Uh, but yeah, um, fuck, I had an initial point to make. I, you know, like, I, I knew Sam could hang. Like with the show and I knew she would vibe with the stuff we were doing and like with Arissa, I didn't know what she would think, you know, cause I don't think she had ever been to a metal show, but she loved it. Really? Yeah. She was she very seemed, like, She had a big smile on her face. Yeah. And time, I just so. kept telling her, I was like, you got to realize like your boyfriend is one of the best like death metal vocalists. <laughs> like crushes it better than like anybody. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like, he's one of the best people I know at this. <laughs> like it's, I'm not even shitting you. He's really good. <laughs> like, you know, I used to say this. Sh- yeah. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, Man, I would love to talk to her about how I like first met him. I they they're coming on our show, dude. I, yeah, Both I know. of them, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is going to be I'm so sick. Yeah. yeah, I cannot wait for that. Because, like, yeah, dude, I remember the first time I met, I knew of Danny was when he like when I first heard Urjoni, and then when he joined through the eyes, like to all of us in high school, like all everybody in my band, we were like, "Holy fuck, this is insane!" <laughs> and I remember when they dropped like the singles from Skepsis, they did a. Uh, Fuck, what was it? It was the, I don't remember the song names and I have to look at the track listing and then I could tell you, mm. but I remember when all of them dropped and I would, I would rip them from a fucking like one of those shot websites that you could like put in a MySpace link and it would single out the audio files and you could oh, download nice. them. But like the quality was like, <laughs> the yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. like sounded very Overly low. And yeah. Like, yeah, like yeah. 240 <laughs> yeah. KPBs or whatever. So it sounds like it's got that weird internet AOL filter on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but that's like what I used to the use. Get hits, like that jingly jingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. <those> days. <laughs> Dude, I do not miss that. That sucked, man. That like when I was big into hey, like we were trying to figure it out back then. Oh, I know. When I when I was in high school and I was big into downloading a lot of music as well as buying CDs, but like that's when I you know, when I was in my discovery phase so much, so I was downloading so much shit. Mm-hmm. And I would hate it when I would get a low quality <laughs> album. Like and you would know immediately when you would hear symbols like that. Yep. That would be you the indicator. The I'm, yeah, like, yeah, I'm oh, like, oh damn that's it. why this sounds yeah. bad. Like I remember uh, <laughs> a good example of the sim- symbol jingly was when the contortionist, their second album leaked. It was intrinsic. It leaked in mono. It, the mix was oh. mono for some reason. And it was also really oh, low quality. Man. So it had that weird like sing- oh, single. God. Yeah. But I remember like listening to that leaked version so much. Cause I was so pumped for that, that I would like, didn't care. And then when I heard the new thing, it sounded like, like the full album. When I had the CD, it sounded like, 
my love. Like it sounded like a, a huge change had happened. Oh, I'm like sure. I was just like, this sounds like a completely different album. Yeah. It's so sick. And it's like, almost like it's a remaster. Yeah, because <laughs> I bought that. I bought. I remember I bought that after I was filling in for that band Gateways, Nick Daniels' old band and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and they lived up by the Woodfield Mall, and that Woodfield had an FYE that sold a lot of metal shit. Okay. Um, so we went to go pick up that contortion and CD the day it came out. Like me and a bunch of the guys from the band all went to go buy the CD. <laughs> it was really funny. Fuck and yeah. I made them take a picture of us all holding our CDs together. Hell yeah. It's out there somewhere, but yeah, awesome. I remember like <laughs> listening to it in full quality and being like, yeah, this is uh, how it's meant to be. Oh, uh, this is what music is yeah. supposed to sound like. Dude, I remember <laughs> I asked Ma- I asked Max at the time, and this was way before Max was in Warforged. I was like, because he really liked the contortionist too. And I asked him, I was like, man, did you get this leak? It sounds weird. He's like, yeah, dude, it's in mono. And I was <laughs> like, oh, fuck. Yeah, very weird. But like <laughs> sick, I guess. Yeah. I mean, they say like with mixing if your mix sounds good in mono, it should sound good in stereo. stereo. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it couldn't sound that bad, but... Dude, I'm going to mix my shit in Dolby Atmos. You can do it. 5.1, 7.1, mm-hmm. 7.2 or something. Is that what yeah. that is? I'm not sure what Dolby Atmos is, but I know like surround sound is oh, like okay. when they start busting out those numbers. So like yeah. the first number being like you know your left, right, center, back. Yeah, left, yeah, right, yeah. And then the second number is subs. I wonder how many people like mix the records like that. Not a lot. Probably um, not a lot of people. What, the only album I ever owned that was like that was a Jamiroquai album. Oh uh, yeah. And it was dynamite where like it came with like a DVD. Cause that's how the audio. Oh yeah. Yeah. Had yeah. To be. And, um, I think I listened to it like once. It's just a pain in the ass. Cause I had to put it in like my DVD player yeah. that has a stereo that's big enough. And then you would, did you have surround sound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's cool, but it's just, it's it's too much of a hassle. Yeah. yeah. I've never had, do you have surround sound now? Not really. Yeah, I just I have a sub and like a sound bar. And that's oh, okay. Yeah, 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 for your TV. Yeah. I, and it kind of like fakes the surround sound. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, some, yeah. I don't know how. Some weird shit. Magic. It's weird. That's it's cool, really weird. Though. It like fucks with me sometimes. I'll be like in bed. I'm like. What the fuck? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, like, oh yeah, it's supposed to kind of do that like, in a weird <laughs> shitty way. That's so funny. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah. One day I'll get that shit, but my audio's fine right now on my 55 inch TV. As long as I have a sub, I'm happy. Yeah. Like, I like that. Yeah. It's nice. I said, what kind of sub do you have? KRK? Whatever. Nah, it's whatever came with the, the Oh, the sound bar? Was, was like it a, Bose? Nah, it was like a Vizio. Oh, okay. Yeah, like nothing cool. fancy. Nice. But it just sounds way better than like the TV speakers. Oh, I'm sure it sounds yeah, way better than the like TV shit. speakers. But then, yeah, I also have a sub for my monitors at home for yeah. recording, which is just, it's all Yamaha shit. And Fuck yeah. It's funny. That thing made a huge difference in like my mixing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I had a little tiny Yamaha guys because like I traveled a lot with those, mm-hmm. you know, for like studio stuff. And uh, they they're, they just don't pump out low end. Like you just don't hear it. Yeah. And so every time I'd go do like the car test, I'm like, oh, there's like a ton of like insane low end that I just never heard. And uh-huh. I was like, this fucking sucks, but it's like a thing of the past now. Yeah. 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 Um, easy peasy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I've been batting three for three this week. And Friday, sick Dahlia show that I went to for free, which was fun, even though I didn't see Dahlia at all because Concord doesn't allow re entry. But it sucks. I told you uh, the dude that I met in Europe that was doing yeah, lighting he was doing for lights dope. for Black Dahlia. Yeah, he's doing lights for Black Dahlia. That's so cool. I was like, damn it. I was like, if I had known, mm-hmm. I was like, fuck, I would have gone to that show just yeah. to see him because like I haven't seen him since Europe because he's based out of California. I think. Mm-hmm. That and, would have been uh, cool though. Yeah, yeah, that would have been. What nice was his too. name? Uh, Zach. Oh, cool. Fuck yeah. yeah. Super cool dude. He was awesome. That yeah, nice I believe see, that. But, oh well. Dude, yeah, and then yesterday our show fucking ruled. Today has been the shit. I slept until like twelve thirty, and then <laughs> Still all got up at like eight. All I did was smoke weed, play Majora's Mask, and watch The Sopranos today. That's <laughs> all I fucking did, and just lay down on my couch with the dog. Nice. It was great. It was everything I fucking wanted to do. Oh, I was going to ask about it last night. Did you get stopped at all about this, the podcast? Yeah, by yeah. Jim. A couple people yeah. stopped me. Okay. And then even Al and Gabe were stopped by people. Oh, really? And they were like, dude, the shit that you said on this episode, like, great. It was so funny. That's I was just like, what the fuck, dude? I was like, yeah. Well, yeah. I, guess. I was like, I told him, I was like, you know what? I didn't realize, like, we haven't seen anybody outside of, like, our circle 
for the yeah. most part, or even people that we don't even, I, there was people I didn't even know that said stuff to me about the show. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah. It's like, this is like the first time I've been out in public. Uh-huh. And it's just yeah, weird minute, now that yeah. we're getting like actual feedback in, in person. I was like, oh yeah, that's right. We do this thing. <laughs> <laughs> people listen to it. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was really funny to hear that. And people quoting stuff from the show. Was yeah. Really very fucking nuts, dude. Yeah, that was, was sick, was so man. so cool. I was yeah. like, oh, all right. <laughs> that dude, Eddie introduced me to that guy, Jim. Yes. That guy was who really nice. showed up wearing a fucking embodied torment shirt. I was like, who the fuck? I was like, what? And then I told him, I was like... He was just like, yeah, dude. He's like, we like so much of the same music. And I'm like, holy fuck. I was like, well, we must. I have that same fucking (laughs) shirt. And I was like, (laughs) we were just, it was, yeah, it was very sick. He was like, yeah, dude, it's wild. He was like, you listen to a lot of the same type of shit I like to listen to. And he was like, even with the metalcore stuff too. And I'm like, oh, that's fucking killer. Yeah. I want him to come on the show too. That would be fucking awesome. Seems like a really sweet guy. Yeah. yeah, He seemed really nice. Yeah, He bought some merch too, which was really sick. yeah. Yeah. There were so many fucking cool people there. Yeah, like, it was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah it was the podcast. Great. There was a bunch of people talking to me about the podcast and shit, and I was like, "Oh yeah, was, yeah." We it kind of threw me off. Yeah, like, I wasn't in podcast mode. I was just exactly. Yeah, it was just like we're and here. And I was like, yeah. Oh yeah, we do this together. I know. Yeah, it's so sick, dude. Yeah, it was really cool. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. and the but, fact that yeah, Gabe and Al both were like recognized. Yeah, really that funny. was really who recognized yeah. Al. Um, who was it? I forgot. I know the that one dude, uh, Maru, Maru, right? Maru, Maru, yeah. um, Maru. That's the cat, I think. Uh, Maru. Um, <laughs> he, uh, he, he went up to Gabe and was like, "Dude, there was all this." Oh shit you yeah, said. yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Gabe was like cracking up. He's like, "Oh man, that's awesome." You yeah, because like I told him he was like, "Oh, is that the guy that was on that's been on the show, right?" I'm like, "Yeah, it's Gabe. Go say what's up, dude." <laughs> yeah, it's very that's sick. Awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was asking me about your band. He was like, what kind of music are they? And I was like, ah, noise rock. I was like trying to describe it. And I was like, I don't know how to, how to describe it. I was like, they're really sick, though. You should just listen to it. <laughs> hey, sure, yeah, there's plenty yeah. of stuff out there. Uh, there was this one dude that um, Eddie and the Eddies actually introduced me to that really nice dude. He's a photographer. that's done like photos I've, I've seen before. I didn't realize it was him. Oh, shit. Okay. And uh, he lives in Forest Park now, which is really oh. funny. I'm blanking on his name right now, but... Uh, Where's they going with this? We, oh, he brought up the the cover that we did in something is waiting popular. Uh, oh yeah, popular and uh, I like forgot about it. I totally forgot we did yeah. that. And I was like, oh yeah, that was like a ton of fucking fun. Yeah. And, like he was like quoting the lyrics from it. And I was like, oh yeah. I was like, dude, you don't even understand like how bad we were laughing tracking. <laughs> yeah, shit. very and, sick. Uh, it was funny. And then like you know like it's funny. Eddie Limparis always cracks me up because he's just like he's like I can't believe how good you guys made that single sign because I thought you could record that whole thing at Bricktop. I was like, no, we did it in our practice space. He's like, yeah, what the fuck, dude? And I was like, I don't know. I just yeah. been working on the mixing and it came out pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking That's awesome. Funny. And then I listened to it today when I like got up yeah. and I was like, oh yeah, this is like one of the funniest. What time did you ever. wake up? Uh, like eight. Oh my God. Yeah. But I like, kind of like was in and out of consciousness okay. a little bit for it. But then I, I think by 10 in the morning, I was like up. Nice. Yeah. Hell Yeah. That Sunday sleeping in, man. Yeah, for me, that's sleeping in. Yeah, uh, yeah ten. Yeah, shit, watched man. the Tank Girl and then uh, started working on music. Nice, hell yeah, man. So it was a nice, nice relaxing day. Sounds good. My neck and back aren't as fucked up as I thought they were gonna be. Yeah, dude. It was nice because I told my chiropractor the week before. I was like, "Yeah, I have a show this Saturday." I was like, uh, "So you're gonna have your work cut off for you, and I see you after that." Yeah. <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, man, that's what we're here for, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure." <laughs> that's awesome, dude. But I actually feel pretty good. Like. My neck is a little stiff, but I can like move it. Like usually, I I can't even move my neck after like a show. Yeah, like it's just so shot. But uh, and my back feels fucking fine. Like I doesn't. I feel oh, anything. my back is killing me today. Yeah, my yeah. back is like nothing. Feels just as good as it did before. That's good. Yeah. Also, didn't lift my fucking cab by myself up that flight of stairs like Danny did. Psycho. <laughs> he did that to my cab and Nate's cab. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ. So dumb. I don't know. He got up there pretty quick. Yeah. And that was the noise we heard, like, yelling. I know. And, I like, saw the video. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, you were in the dock when, like, we heard yeah, it. Yeah, when we like, heard the, the yeah, fuck was yeah. That? And I was, was like, uh oh, yeah. I thought something bad happened. And then he shows the video. I was like, oh, yeah, was yelling. that was sick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. He posted it, and then he took it down. And he why? was just, I don't know. He, was, he told me he has to explain in person. I think I have a theory why. But I don't know if I should air mm-hmm. it here. Save it for afterward. I think it's related with work, so... Really? Yeah. 
I right. can't. We'd have to edit this out if we go any <laughs> All right, further. we won't. We won't. We so, won't. We'll yeah, 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 yeah. That's funny. <laughs> but uh, because <laughs> I saw the video yeah. this morning on our Instagram, I was like, it, oh, was it was so hysterical. funny, dude. Was so yeah, that was great. Video. I don't know why you took it down. Yeah. What a bitch. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really funny, and it was so funny because like we were in the loading dock, and I was talking with Arissa, his <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I'm gonna say? No, I just no, I just finally put two two together with Danny, but yeah, yeah. No, oh yeah. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. But uh Arissa was like, Oh, is this what it's like for Polly D when he plays shows? And I was like, Who the fuck is Polly D? And I'm like And then I was like, Oh, Polly D from Jersey Shore, and she was like, Yeah, motherfucker. And I was like, he Oh does shows? I get. I don't know. Who's I have no idea. DJ? Maybe, or okay. he, maybe he does something like that. But I was like, I <laughs> doubt he does that shit. I doubt he does this. He probably rents gear or something. Dude, they like do that. back lines and hires it. Like, yeah, yeah he's dude. got money. Nah, he ain't living his life. She was like, like I can't believe you don't know who Paulie D is. I was like, watch when this van pulls up. I bet you nobody in there knows who Paulie D is. So <laughs> don't get your fucking hopes up. She here. didn't ask, man. Yeah, <laughs> it was just so. It was just really funny. Yeah, Jersey Shore. Because my parents watched Jersey Shore when it was a thing. Really? Yeah. I never. I they the, described it as a train wreck that they couldn't look away from. That's fair. Yeah. I totally get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen the highlights. Yeah. That's about it. And yeah, like, I mean, it is what it is. It was is. such a big thing in pop culture that you had to have known about it in oh, some yeah. capacity, whether it's some parody or what. But yeah, yeah. Snooki and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Holy fuck! That feels like forever ago. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whoa, they're all like in their like 30s, like late 30s now, right? They gotta be, yeah. So I think they were like my age when they were doing all that dumb ass shit. Or younger, really? even. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't even remember what year that became like a thing. Or what year that blew up. Sorry. No, it's all good. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, phone just went crazy for a second. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. But yeah, that was the other thing. I mean, if anybody watching or listening if you guys have any cell phone footage from the show yeah uh hit us up and like send it to me because like i i took video of the show um i haven't really had a chance to look at it i just finally uploaded it all to my computer and started lining stuff up you know for Sick. time alignment and uh, uh yeah. it's cool i i, I got <clears throat> it was like it doesn't look the greatest but like a an angle from like the sound booth, but I was mainly doing that just for sound to mm -hmm. capture sound with the, that camera, like the, this one over here that I'm pointing to up there. Uh, that one's just really good for sound. Uh -huh. The GoPros aren't bad, but that one's better. And then I had a GoPro like right next to Nate and another one over by me, but like, but past the stage a little bit. Yeah. And then I had one on top of my amp pointed right at you. I have a really good angle of you. Playing. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. And then, like I said, uh, Adam sent me a video. Nice. Like a portion of the song that looks really fucking cool. So, do you have the whole sets then yeah. of us? Oh, I have the entire shit. set. That's fucking killer. Yeah. So I'm going to try to like Dang. edit a whole thing. That would be sick as fuck. So, Hell yeah. I've never done anything like that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun. I know Sam's got footage. I'll have her send it and shit yeah. like that. The more the merrier. It'll be great. It'll yeah, be really yeah. cool. Damn, fuck yeah. Looking back now, I wish I had said something to more people. It'd be like, fucking take video, take yeah. video, take well, video. Well, we got yeah. a lot. <laughs> Asib sent, he's got full songs. Holy shit. Yeah, he's, yeah, he posted two full songs dude, on Instagram. That was the absolute best watching that dude walk up to the venue. I was so stoked to see him. Yeah. It was so great because yeah. I hadn't seen him forever. And I was telling him, I was like, dude, I was like, you were like one of the first person I thought of when like the when COVID like went down. I was just like, fuck what's this dude gonna do like, yeah. it sucks man like this guy lives for shows like it was such a yeah. bummer you know i thought of him like immediately and uh but it was cool to catch up with him it was like, so like cool he's doing to catch really up with him. yeah so. he rules yeah i love that dude he's yeah, so nice so awesome yeah, yeah. to see him i'm so happy he came <laughs> and it's something his waiting hat i was like hell yeah. sick dude yeah yeah hell yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah he rules man i'm talking about that new viljarda album that we're both excited for yeah it was so sweet he rules he picked up a cd Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Very cool. That was yeah. really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, man. People buying our shit, dude. People wanted it. Yeah. Yeah, and you motherfuckers <laughs> is coming online. By the time this airs, it will be on our band camp. Right, so yeah, if there's band. shit left, buy it now, and I'll ship it to you. And maybe I'll... any old stuff? Any of the old merch? Yeah, we oh, okay. sold it. That's... Uh, Arissa and her home girl bought. Oh, well, that's those, where she ended up. Bought a couple. Them. Yeah, they each bought a couple old shirts. Nice. Yeah. So, 
And then I found some really old Warforged shirts that I just <laughs> gave away. <laughs> I, saw I gave that. one to Danny. I wonder what the fuck those were doing. They were there. from when we play. Oh, no. I don't even remember what show it was. We got them printed for a show that was big. It wasn't Summer Slaughter, though. It was before then. Because the Summer Slaughter shirt we did was like a front and back print. It was like the little tit pretty that was the tint print on the tip, logo and then on the back it had some like a design in the back or some shit yeah. okay I don't remember fuck that was sick though that was sick yeah and i like those it was like a navy blue with our logo that was just in gray yeah i like that I like a lot. Those. yeah those cool those did turn out really well but yeah i gave one to danny <laughs> and then uh because at first i found a large and then i was like oh what's your size and he was like medium and i was like oh never mind and i was gonna give it to somebody who fits at a large and he was like i can fit into a large i can fit into a large and then i found a medium I'm like here take this one and he was like <laughs> oh thank god <laughs> and i was like i think he already has that shirt but he, he, well, he, he must not know. yeah <laughs> I like that shirt, but uh, yeah, I don't fucking That's know, funny. man. Yeah, I think we had Mike Galati make those for something. Oh, really? Yeah, but yeah, I have no fucking clue why they were in our bin, so. <laughs> but yeah, we still have, like, I think uh, only, like, one of those. I think we might have gotten rid of all the purple shirts, actually, the last of them. Oh, really? Yeah, I think, finally. But uh, Wow. Yeah, we've had those for a minute, man. We had a good chunk of those, though. So I mean, there's a lot. Yeah, of we had there. we made fifty of them, I think, yeah. or something along those lines. Yeah, nice. we we made a bunch of those. But yeah, I mean, the way these shirts turned out gave me a lot of confidence in like you know doing more merch shit that we could do. And obviously, but you gotta get on that tote bag game, like uh, in the company of servants. The tote bag <laughs> game, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are cool, man. Kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those are pretty sick. But yeah, I mean, like. I don't know the, what we did and the way it all went down was like smooth and perfect yeah. as fuck. Oh, like yeah. I was very happy with uh, what we ended up getting. So no, I'm glad. I'm glad we were like, we need to have merch for this fucking thing. And yeah, it was smart, dude. Board, so yeah. <laughs> and I mean, who knows? So for everybody who's asking us for album cover shirts or album artwork shirts, keep buying these ones and maybe we'll have money to do that at yeah. some point. There's a lot more color in those. <laughs> yep. We'd have to do like direct to garment and printing for yeah. that. <laughs> So, which we could do, you know, it's just going to be a little pricier. Yeah. So, which I don't think a lot of people understand, obviously, because no. I always see people like I made a post, uh, like the week before the show on our, on our Facebook, just saying like, who would be into some new merch? And then everybody was like, vinyls. And I'm like, motherfuckers, right. do you know how much <laughs> money that costs to how make a fucking vinyl? Takes, yeah. And really? how much time it would take us now yeah, with no think, connections? Yeah, like, oh, I know. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. Your average person. Yeah. Doesn't think like that. Exactly. They never had to do that. Yeah. You know? And I want to be like, guys, you give us some money. I'll get you a vinyl. Right. Yeah. Send, send us a bunch of money and we'll do it. You know, yeah. buy more of our merch and we can buy more <laughs> yeah. merch to give you guys to exactly. buy more. Exactly. And- complete you know the cycle keep it going exactly <laughs> it just felt good to have like a selection of shit you know what i mean like we had like cds like for it, sale we had, options it's nice yeah it was really dope to have all that stuff so yeah we still have quite a bit left so oh yeah they're right over there cool i don't even have to dig them up i'm gonna bring some home so i could upload them tomorrow and uh Nice. Fucking, yeah. Lot of state sales. <laughs> yeah, for real. I just ugh, wish I took pictures of them. I'll just take pictures of them tomorrow. You know? But. It works. Yeah, I love the fucking teal one, man. The Galapagos blue. Yo, I'm going <laughs> to show really them called off. Galapagos Yeah, blue? hold on. I'm going to grab them and I'm going to show awesome. them on camera here. Go for it, yeah. For the people to just see. Just know that Al's disappointed that we didn't do uh, cornhole, cornhole blue. Cornhole blue. They didn't yeah. have it. So, trust me, yeah, I looked. Go, well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's not even his fault, man. There's like such a No, big blame thing. him. Fuck him. Blame him. <laughs> there's such a big like, shortage right now. Oh, I, yeah. Well, I mean, there's a shortage in everything. So, like, yeah. I totally there's understand. Because, like, what were the original color schemes we were going with? It was going to be just, like, all the original ones that I had. Like, when we were discussing it, when we were, like. It was, like, a green. Yeah, that one I liked a lot. Yeah. So earth tone green, yeah. The red one. I do remember the red one because I remember I was like, yeah, there's sriracha. Uh, it was a gray poupon, and I couldn't remember the other sauce that it was like the color of. (laughs) 
Yeah, this was the Galapagos Blue. <laughs> so, that's Galapagos yeah, Blue. I thought it was going to be more of like less of a teal. If I ever saw my friend Alex again, I would give her one of those shirts because she's been to the Galapagos, but oh, apparently she's dead to me. <laughs> oh, why? I do. I've not seen her at all still. Really? Yeah. She's in town? She's ba- she lives in Forest Park. Oh. Okay. And I have not. I've seen her once by accident. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Did she not hit you up? Uh, like a couple of times, but I've always been fucking busy. Oh, yeah, I'm just yeah, like, yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah, but she was like not working. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like, why don't you hit me up? <laughs> like, yeah. like, I forget what this one was called. It took me a um, kind of it's a uh, big bird yellow. I like the way the blue looks on that. Yeah, it looks cool. Looks like Cobra Commander. <laughs> but yeah, did we mention Vince from Seas? Uh, yeah. And Bovice did the, uh, did the design for us, which is awesome. Absolutely. Here, sit down. <laughs> Talking to the I'm mic. Still it off, right? <laughs> oh, it's corn silk. It's corn corn silk. silk. Yeah. It's almost cornhole. Corn All right. Shirt. Yep. Corn slit. Ugh, corn slit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like that though. That shade of yellow, it's kind of pale and not super like goldeny. No, it's good. Kind of covered up our guest. Oh yeah, we're gonna fuck him, <laughs> suffocate him, let him, let him warm up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> out in the cold there. <laughs> but yeah, I do really like how those turn out. Very good summer colors. You know what I mean? Good right for this time of year. <laughs> yeah, almost. We oh, have okay. like three weeks left. I think it's. Either on my birthday or the day before. Yeah. I can't remember. It's the end of the 24th, I think, or 25th or some shit. What? I thought it's the, either. Well, it's usually on the 22nd on my birthday, but sometimes it's, it switches up. Boom. 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 But yeah, it was awesome. Uh, like I, I was telling everybody, I was like, yeah, my friend Rosie won the coin toss between her and her husband. Uh, oh, yeah. To go to the show. <laughs> I figured as much. <laughs> Which was great because I didn't tell her Al was there. And like, so she was so surprised to see him. So that was awesome because I don't think they've seen each other in fucking forever. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that was yeah, a lot yeah. of fun for them. To catch yeah. Up. I saw her for a second and she was like, your beard got so long. And I was like, what? It's been <laughs> long for like a while. Uh, she probably just hasn't. Yeah. Seen and I was like, oh, I, and that's when I thought I was like, man, I don't even remember. <laughs> like all of time. us have old minus Franco. Like all of us, our beards are. Yeah. Are except out of Danny. control. <laughs> except but, Danny. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we all got somebody, somebody was cracking me up. They were just like, dude, just so much hair on the stage is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. yeah, yeah I had man. to keep the hat on, man, because like I was getting so, and it didn't even help, but I was getting so fucking sweaty. Like the entire set, it was just like beads band. of sweat going into my eyes. So I was just like, you know, <laughs> it was burning me. I've, uh, I don't know what's going on with me, but I, I just sweat no matter what. Like I just, oh, yeah, I too. like blink hard and I'm like sweating. Yeah. And, uh, but my sweat is not very salty for that's some reason. I don't know why. I don't think that's a good thing though. Oh, that might be a, that might be an issue. <laughs> Deficiency? Um, maybe I don't know. I was like, fuck. I gotta like up my salt intake like Rosie. But uh, go to so your it, doctor. It doesn't man. like burn my eyes. I I mean I feel fine. Like it doesn't like. Yeah. I stay hydrated, so it might be a thing of like me being overhydrated. I don't know because I, sure. I drink so much fucking water all day every yeah. day. That's um, good. Me too. The occasional pop, but uh, so yeah, it doesn't bother me. But I just sweat and sweat so much yeah. and uh it was funny it was like it reminded that there was one time we were doing a capsize show years ago and it was a garage show that we were playing okay very diy on the south side and uh it was it was like a hundred fucking 30 degrees in this garage because it's us and a bunch of gear and like 40 fucking kids jam-packed in sure. this thing right yeah and i just remember like looking at each other and we're just like fuck this is brutal and it's so hot but here we go and we, you know, our first song is this song, Monopoly Man. It's like 30 <laughs> seconds long. And by the end of Monopoly it. Monopoly Man? It's screw you, Monopoly Man. I don't want to buy Baltic Avenue or something like that. Our song titles were longer than the actual songs. But uh, yeah, it's like a 30 second song. And by the end of it, like all of us are just dredged. We're just like, <laughs> wow, oh, here we go. <laughs> and then we just did the 30 minutes. And I, 
that's the the most drenched I've ever been after a show. Sure. Um, like my my pants were like soaked. I've never had that happen. Before. Ew. Uh, it was jeans? crazy. Yeah, my jeans were like covered in sweat. Um, but last night I was like, <laughs> we were, I think we got into like Vatican City, and I like leaned over and I just could see just all this sweat just dripping oh, off. Oh my god! Like, oh god, I'm dying up here. That's so funny. <laughs> Ugh. Oh yeah. yeah. Hopefully some of you caught that on camera. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, man. That's so funny. Yeah, it's just my shirt is still soaked from last night. Really? Mine's still in my. Yeah, I gotta put mine. Ew. I'm I sure it on, mine. I was is like, too. holy fuck, this thing. It's just 100 percent drenched. Yeah, yeah, mine was pretty pretty wet yeah, by was, the time we was, were done. <laughs> I, I mean, luckily I brought a spare shirt to G2 too because yeah. I was just like, was it you that called me out? That was like. Did you put on another cat shirt? No, that shirt? was Al. That was Al. Yeah, he was like, is that another cat shirt? And you were like, like no. no. Yeah, it was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got more, Yeah, man. I know. I was like, yeah, that's really not it, I guess. It was good, though. I saw somebody else with a taco cat shirt at the show. Not the same one that you have, but it was another like, really? shirt that said taco cat on it. Yeah. Fuck. Who was it? I don't know. Some doom it. looking guy. It was like Damn, a black shirt. We been best friends. I know. That's about to be like, yo, bridge the gap, man. No. Well, Cats rule, dude. I'm, I'm coming to your <laughs> side, you're man. You're turning. I'm, huh? I am slowly turning. They're awesome. They're just tiny yeah. little moronic, like, you know. Mom yeah, lines. they have a, they definitely like, I get why people get so annoyed by cats. But like at the same time, it's like, if you take away the stigma, you take away the stigma, you take away the stereotypes <laughs> from these <laughs> beings from these animals from the species creatures i have a good time i have a great time with my cat even though he's a fucking miscreant yeah a little doofus but uh yeah i just discovered what a primordial pouch is on a cat that little like hanging belly part oh, that they yeah, get yeah, yeah. a primordial like, pouch is that what that's called yeah i, I looked it up that. on the internet that's funny so now i just grab him by there all the time oh. and i just go blah, 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 blah. Just him but he, he loves, he loves it, it. Oh, yeah, yeah oh he loves it and he likes it when i slap his ass <laughs> oh dude they all love that oh my yeah, god yeah. i play fucking just do some blast beats on him yeah all the time he loves it my but one recently uh, i've been getting him by like and i love getting him by the primordial pouch because sometimes it'll just like stop him and he'll just like <laughs> like just give in to me he's so cute man but he's like such an asshole at the same time i uh, do every he just like wakes me up all the time and shit and he'll just like because our bed we have a windowsill right above our bed like mm -hmm. where our heads are and he climbs on it all the time so it's just like yep and then or it's oh, just like the tail in my face when i'm asleep and it's like and I'm like, the blinds are closed. You can't even see anything, you psycho. Like, so what are you funny. doing, man? Yeah. Um, I'm so used to it, though. Like, I, yeah. uh, I've had multiple times where I've woken up and my face is just like on top of one of my cats. I'm like yeah. drooling on my cat. I'm like, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, that's what they get. I've woken up with a cat like on my head and like. Oh, it, yeah. I've definitely drooled on never, a dog like, before. It never accident. bothers me. And, like, yeah. Man, or I like, roll over and like a cat's like, hey. And I'm like, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so funny i like it though yeah dude bother. my dog and i i just don't like it when i hear crashing noises i'm like god damn oh yeah that's like, the worst it's the but it's, it's very rare i my our cat never really breaks shit thankfully he's a cord chewer but mm. that's about it my one cat is um the little one likes to chew boxes yeah it's fucking annoying. It's oh yeah, my cat mess. goes for plastic all the time. He really? loves <laughs> chewing on plastic. Yeah, or That's tape, like tape, tape or pl really? yeah, like cl anything clear. He loves it. <laughs> or like jewel bags or something like that. Like plastic. He loves yeah, it. my cat's like the bags. And yeah, stuff, and yeah, clear plastic. Like Sam's been buying the Aldi brand Fig Newtons, and she nice. eats them in our bedroom. And like she'll leave a little stack of them. Like you know, they come in like a little plastic casing, but then it's in the Saran wrap, and then it's like, like or, whatever. Or, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and like. She she left it there and then the cat will just lay down and like be like fig newton time and he'll just like he'll just start clawing at it and trying to get it closer to him and i'm like it's funny you know but at the same time i'm like come on man like be cool dude. Yeah, yeah yeah like when we got when eddie dropped off the shirts like there was some tape on the box and i had to take it off because the cat just kept going for it i'm like dude chill you stupid idiot yeah they're good for that yeah it's so annoying always loves plastic like it's just one shit man
I guess it must be. I don't know to what degree why he is enamored with it, but uh, all cats are kind of different in their own way with that kind of shit. Yeah, though. and they all have funny. brains the size of a fucking peanut. So, oh, like, yeah, you know, it was funny. Like, um, <laughs> you know, Megan was at the show and her and her husband Kevin. And yeah, I was asking about their dog, and it was so funny. Kevin was like, "Man, he's like that dog is fucking weird." I was like, "What's yeah. up, man?" He's like, "I don't know, just this weird shit." And I was like, and "I think at this there was one point where at the same time we both went like." Well, it's got the brain the size of a walnut. Like, what do you expect? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, it's a very true and factor. Her, her cat had some, like, dental work done, I guess. Nice. Fuck <laughs> yeah. Mort, Mort's got braces. Hell yeah. <laughs> I like that cat. Very Wilford Brimley looking dude, cat. The, the, like, smash face. Like the yeah, yeah, I love yeah. that shit, an awesome dude. awesome cat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's so funny. Yeah, that was sick that they came out. That was really cool. It's funny because like I didn't see him when we were playing. Was it Tyson came out, dude? That was awesome. Yeah, it was yeah, so sick. Yeah. We met his new lady, which yeah, was really cool. Yeah, she, she was, was really super nice. nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was awesome. Yeah, it's wild, dude. Everybody fucking coming out of the woodwork. Yeah, I told Rosie so we should have just brought Johnny and James, man. Yeah, when, when I see Uncle Bill play. I was like, well, wow. couldn't there was twenty one and up, yeah, so I don't think the little ones could be. <laughs> They're big enough. They look like they are twenty. Nah. <laughs> yeah, it's <a> fake idea. <laughs> Yeah, that was awesome that Rosie came out. My math teacher. I mean, I wish it was Brian, but I'll take Rosie, I guess. Yeah, I want her to come on the show. Why have neither of them ever been on this show? They don't want to risk their careers. What are they going to risk? I don't know. That's always like been their thing with like stuff like that, where they're just like, I don't know, I don't want to take that chance. I was like, what? I was like, we don't even say anything. Yeah, we're not going to say anything offensive. That's but, bullshit. Come on, guys, if you're watching maybe. this, I love you guys. But you should come on. You would. They would be great <laughs> guests, especially with like... All the history you guys have. Oh, yeah. I mean, we have like an insane history. I know. <laughs> and they've never been on the show. It's just, it's just wild. Dude, Danny, the other day asked me, he was like, what do you think if we, uh, if I became like the third co-host? And I was like, no. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. What? Like, I'm like, dude, we try to get you on the show like four times and you bail every time. Like, how would you even yeah, make you it can't happen? Even do it. Like, yeah. We it's need just like, get guess. out of here. <laughs> Tell the start his own podcast, the Blackjack and Hookers. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Arissa was very like, it was sick when we came in the room last night because she was like, oh, this is where you guys podcast? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, that's right. Because the last time she was here, I don't think we had the setup. Yeah, no, we didn't. And she was just like, oh, that's fucking cool. And she's like, what do you guys talk about? I'm like, anything. And she was like, what? I'm like, yeah, come on. Yeah. And she was come like, on. no. Talk about whatever you want to talk yeah, about. Yeah, exactly. So. Be sweet. Which is always funny when people that aren't familiar with the podcast like ask about it. And it's just like, yeah, you can come on and you just talk about whatever you want. We'll talk about it. Like <laughs> that's the whole premise of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Know? It's like, what do you got going on? Like, yeah, I just it's so funny to me how many like people listen to like subject podcasts. You know what I mean? Or like like specific. Ones. Yeah, yeah. And then everybody's like, well, what's yours about? I'm like, I, I feel like every podcast I listen to, there's like an agenda. Yeah, Not an agenda, but like a, a centered thought that they always try to surround them yeah exactly but format most of the shit i do i mean like i don't know I, your mom's house doesn't like they talk about almost anything you know i mean granted it's like two it, degree yeah, yeah it is formatted and it is somewhat formatted but i don't know that that can go off the rails pretty quick which is kind of funny exactly which is why i, I do it's not that. limited you know it's not yeah. so limited to like a horror thing or a true crime thing well, like or, i i just i always gravitate towards any of the interview long form interview like pro- podcasts yeah yeah and stuff. like i like those a lot I like those two. Yeah, and like I've been, and shit. And like, especially like the comedian ones. And it's just fun to hear like the oh, stories yeah. of these guys and like their processes and how they came up and who they knew. And like, and like, it's been interesting. And uh, I most recently, that dude, Mark Norman, has been doing all the rounds of all the podcasts that like I've been, I usually listen to or some that I listen to every once in a while. And I started just going all the his episodes and, uh, he, yeah, I watched a bunch of his episodes too. He's good. He is so fucking funny. Like they like dude, him a lot. I like him a lot. Right? Yeah, now. I like, think he's cool. He's so great. Like I just, his sense of humor is awesome because it's like it's pretty dark, but not always dark. And it's just he's super fucking quick. Like, yeah, like that's why I like about him. Dry interviews. guy. Very dry and like yeah, <clears throat> you know he's always shooting something out real quick. And like I watched the one that's like fucking five hours long. Oh shit! Of Whitney Cummings, uh, Giannis Papas, and Mark Norman. Oh. And throughout that, you know, Whitney Cummings is blah, 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 like yeah. a mile a minute, like doesn't stop. Giannis Pappas is almost like that. And Mark Norman is like a pretty soft spoken guy kind of. And so throughout that, you'll just hear him throw like a little jab in there or say something 
that's absolutely hysterical. But it gets lost because the two of them are just like, rah, 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 yeah. and he's just like throwing I can't, them out Winnie there. Like, oh, is hard for me to sit through, man. It's she's so like, difficult. Yeah, it's, she's rough. I've watched two episodes of hers because she had guests on there that I liked a lot. Oh, okay. Which was Tom Figueroa I, and Mark Norman. Okay, I saw her on the Two Bears, One Cave. That was all right. Yeah, she yeah, that was okay it a because of bit, Tom. Because it's you know what I mean. Show. But it was yeah, yeah. And I like her when show. Theo Vaughn's Oof. in the mix with her. That I like when Theo Vaughn's in the mix with anybody. I'm like, right, let's that's your go. Guy. Yeah, he's yeah. so funny. Him and Mark Norman's episode on his show, I love it. It's so. so uh, have you seen that? What when Theo's? Mark Norman was on Theo's show? No, it was to recent it too. You should check yeah. it out. It's well, really he, funny because he was in like the West Coast, so he did all the podcasts. Oh yeah, I believe it. That's why. Well, they're both from Louisiana, so it's sick that they both came up from like these extremely different upbringings but like it's well, very uh, sick so mark norman it was a uh, part of the reason why he was like doing all these was not only was he doing you know stops or whatever was he doing promo but he had came out with a special like a year ago i saw it i think on youtube yeah it's phenomenal yeah yeah it is it's good. so fucking good i'm yeah. kicking myself down and watch it sooner uh-huh um yeah i saw that adrian's a long t- like oh, last really? year i think 2020 yeah, it, it came out last year okay yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah, uh it was good it was interesting because he was talking about how he was shopping it to all these places nobody wanted it netflix didn't want to buy it no, like none of them and he was just like all right fuck it and just put it on youtube yeah and it's great it's so on good. his own channel yeah yeah, yeah. six he has, so he monetizes it himself 7.7 7 million views that's awesome yeah. good for him dude good for him and i for bet sure. that'll land him a special with somebody now i would hope so yeah like, it's somebody described him as like a like almost like mitch hedberg and he kind of is where it's yeah. like this crazy like non-stop like yeah that is very your humor thought too thought. yeah, yeah. I, I like that stuff too because like you know, there's no continuity to it. Like exactly, it's go 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 go. You yeah, know? and like very entertaining. And he's a little like I say, he's a on the dark side, which like cracks me up. And yeah. like it's so funny. And uh, he also has a really good. I watched because I've been on this Mark Norman kick. I watched uh, uh-huh. his uh, the Comedy Central one where it's like this is not happening or whatever. Yeah, that's a really fucking good one. Yeah, dude. it's like dude, that's like one of my favorite ones now. It's so funny. He was I talking about check that out. He was talking about he was in high school when he was in uh, Louisiana and him and his buddies would do that shit where they were just like not instead of like knocking off mailboxes, they were knocking off mirrors. Oh, like, I think I may have heard this. Yeah, yeah. 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 And like they did it and this like giant Asian dude was like, what the fuck? And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it just ends like insane. Yeah. <laughs> like it's so oh, man, good. Dude, it's I don't... such a good episode. There's like, Oh, oh my God. Great. I love that show that this is not happening. Shit. Oh, I don't think anything will ever top like the Joey Diaz nun one to me. The that sister Hyacinth. Fuck. Yeah. It's just like, it's not even like that. It is a funny story. Cause he's like really great at telling stories, but like dude, real quick, though, it's not even like funny. It's just like, fuck man. Like I feel for you, dude. That, that like, dude's history is so fucked. Yeah. It's so fucked up. Yeah. What it's a amazing sick guy, that dude. He's yeah. where he is now. And I know. Like, good for him. Yeah. I'm know? a big fan. I am so excited. He's in the Sopranos movie. No shit. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Fuck yeah. So I'm like even more pumped, you know? That's awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, you can hear him laughing in Mark Norman's. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Cause like he makes a joke. It's not, it's a, I mean, I, I, the joke is hysterical, but it's dark as fuck. But he was mm. talking about how like <laughs> what he was like, one of the friends we were with, he was like, <laughs> he, like, he mentioned that he died of heroin. Oh God. And he made like a, like a, he made a crack about it. Crowd silent. Joey Diaz in the background. Ah! <laughs> it's so, what did he say? It, I can't remember what it was, but it was it, it was great. It was so good. It's Joey's laugh. It was like That's so it was funny. like yeah, he died of heroin, so don't do drugs, guys. And like moved along, <laughs> and Joey Diaz like ah, yeah. like it's so good. That's like it hilarious. makes the joke even better because you can hear Joey Diaz in the background. Yeah, That's so it. fucking funny, yeah. man. Oh if anybody's gonna appreciate it, it'd be that guy. Yeah, for real. For real. Yeah, that was funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Yeah, I love that guy. Like, I haven't even watched it's any so of his funny. new shit. The Uncle Joey's joint stuff. What is that? It's like his new podcast because oh, okay. he stopped doing he, yeah, the he church. Yeah. So He's back um, in New York, right? Something like that. Or, or East Coast. Yeah, somewhere. somewhere east. I thought yeah. it was like Philly or some shit. Maybe. I could be wrong though. Yeah. But yeah, he's not in California anymore. All those guys moved out of there. Yeah, a ton of people moved out of California. Joe yeah. Rogan's got COVID now. Well, he's already fine, though, I thought. Oh, yeah, because they probably 
pumped adrenochrome into his fucking system, <laughs> dude. And, like whatever dead babies are left over post uh, abortion law ban. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's why they're that's why they're like offering bounties now because they're going to harvest the seeds of these women and just turn them into these mutated children, and the old that, Texas government is going to eat them, dude. <laughs> that's why this is happening, man. I'm curious to see if like uh, how retarded is that though? That for real, like what? a ten, like a ten thousand dollar bounty. bounty on somebody who gets an abortion. Like, bitch, I'm coming to Texas. I'm giving abortions away <laughs> for free myself. Let's like. Okay. I got a staircase, come on down. People, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's like we can right figure hook, something out. Yeah. yeah, coat hangers. Mm-hmm. You know, assortments of pills. Uh, we'll find a way. <laughs> you know, if there's a will. There's a way. Exactly. That's crazy. Yeah, the whole thing is so been fucking nuts, dude. Insane. It's just yeah, like, man. And like, what in are this, we doing? I've seen so much shit. Where it's like Texas is just on fire. Yeah, like yeah, <laughs> metaphorically, you know. Uh huh. Like w- it's like hit after hit after hit. After yeah, hit. And it's like, just like I feel bad because I have a lot of friends in Texas that are really sick. Like I've met that I know hate this. Texas. They're yeah. all just like fuck. I'm not on well, that's board why, for any of that. You know, it's funny that the exact same thing you quoted from that kid that you were mentioning, I saw that quoted from somebody else's fucking Twitter, like verbatim. That's probably where really? he got it from. And uh, but what we we're talking about was like they said basically like all artists and. Like of all different formats, yeah, 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 yeah. That, play that, Texas that and all girl shit. on Twitter posted it, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, but we were talking about, I was like, dude, that seems so stupid. And I think, like, it, as an artist, there's like you could do so much more with your art to help benefit the people there being like fucked up by all this shit. Like we were saying, like, yeah, have a benefit show that goes for Planned Parenthood. Like, yeah, exactly. don't fucking just like, not play shows there. Like that's, you're just punishing yeah. the people like, you're like your friends there. Exactly. They're there like progressive or liberal. And it's just you like, know. yeah, man, like I, I didn't sign up for this shit. It's everybody else around us. Yeah. That's like, has the majority for whatever the fuck reason, yeah, you know, it's fucked up. But I mean, it was, it's like, look at Illinois. Like I was telling my dad, I was like, yeah, if you look at a map of Illinois, it's like, all red and then it's just blue in chicago and like yeah. a couple little pockets oh yeah absolutely like, i mean that's what it always is during every election too when they show that shit that's like how the, all the, the states are yeah dude. any major city is like almost you know blue for the most yeah, part yeah it's our population that saves sur- it. yeah and then surrounding like areas it's like red yeah so yeah it's yeah, just, yeah it's just weird that that happened the way it did yeah it's very and the fact weird. that yeah the ten thousand dollar bounty it's like what are we doing? Like, what year is this? Like, no fucking idea. <laughs> no fucking clue. You know, like, part of me likes to think that the way the world is just going in general is becoming a little more progressive, which is nice. So, part of me is just like, eventually, that shit's like Texas will reverse it at some point. I'm yeah, sure they will. Yeah. Same with there's, Alabama. They'll have to at some point. Yeah, there's That's no way insane. it's insane. Yeah, you know it's what just I mean? weird that it somehow squeaked by like it did like it's just, <laughs> yeah it is fucking like, exactly it's just like, like what the fuck is happening but you know like I, somebody pointed out it's just like as we've gone on we've definitely progressed in like things and things are getting yeah. better it's just in the now it doesn't feel like it sometimes and it is what it is but it's just it is getting better it just sucks like every once in a while there's a couple of missteps and like this is a giant yeah. misstep but yeah yeah for sure Sometimes American it gets worse government it gets better. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> but I'm just curious to see if like the YMH people chime in about any of this cuz now they're in Texas. They moved to Texas yeah. too. Jesus. Tom and Christina man. Live in they Texas. have a new studio now? It's being built, but they still they just fly into California to do the show still from the original studio. Oh, okay. Mm. I thought that was their house. I didn't know it was a studio. No, that's a studio. Oh yeah. shit, okay. Cool. Well, that makes sense. Wow. Jesus. Yeah, I'm curious Everybody to see to what Texas. they have to say. I'm sure they'll say something about it. They usually do. They like they don't really chime in too much on politics, but uh-huh. every once in a while they'll yeah. bring it up if it's big enough. And now that they're living in Texas while yeah, this is happening, big enough. Who knows? I would think. Yeah, that's fucking insane. <laughs> about to go down to Texas, become a bounty hunter. <laughs> yeah, dude, me too, man. 10K ahead, let's yeah. do this. <laughs> Jesus. All you yeah, have to do is just knock up a chick and then fucking... Yeah, boom, you're going, 10K. what are they going to do? Right Put her in jail? I have you're no going idea. to jail for trying to get rid of that baby. Right. But everybody points out that like dudes that, like get no consequences from that at all. Yeah, great. 
Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so scummy. Yeah. So scummy. That's so funny. It's so fucked. It's like Ugh. she did. It's it's not the fucking. It was. It's not Mary. She's not having this kid on her own. This isn't fucking Godzilla. You know, like <laughs> takes two to tango here. For like, real. what the fuck are we doing? Like, how is it that guy can just walk away? Like, are you kidding me right now? Nope. Oh, they ain't kidding. Just like I. It's terrible, but they're right. It was like all the comparisons to like uh, Hands Made Tale. I was just like, "Poof, my goof!" Like I remember yeah, when that show came tale, out, and I was yeah. like, "This is a bad idea." I like this show. This is a bad idea. You're just giving people ideas. Yeah, look what happened. This is what happened. You guys let the yeah, show happen. Dude. They're just following it now. <laughs> Yeah, See, we never should have watched that show. Yeah, we I know. Like, right? You're, you're one season. planting the ideas. This is our man. fault. All right, this is our fault for watching that show and letting it have multiple seasons. Yeah, dude. I think it's still going. I it's gave up after the shit. second season because it's just so brutal. Yeah, I never watched it just because oh. the plot of it is too depressing to me. If it it's good. Like Elizabeth I'm sure Moss it's good. is like the shit. I don't I like love Elizabeth her. Moss. Really? Yeah, I didn't oh, like she her in. Uh, rips. Mad Men. I never watched that show. Okay, but that was the first time like, I saw know. her, and that'll be the last time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I mean, it's not like that's not even enough to make me not want to watch the show. I just never like. It's I tried very, it. I believe very very bleak. Yeah, it's tough. That's why, like the second season, I watched like the first two episodes. I was like, I can't take it anymore. I can't take watching her just get fucking destroyed show after show after show. I was like, yeah, it's just way too depressing. Like I can't do it. Yeah. But it's so good. <laughs> yeah. Have you, are you current with it? No, 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 no. no. I, like yeah. I said, after that first two episodes, I think. Yeah. I was like, fuck. God damn. Like, this is too much. Yeah, it's wild. I'll go back eventually, but man. Sure. Maybe when I'm a little bit happier. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> maybe when there's like. Like, Jesus. Yeah. Especially now. <laughs> like, yeah. Now it's more apt than ever before. So maybe I'll watch it and be like, oh, this is what's happening. It's yeah, it must cool. be. Okay. Jesus, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Whew. What else you got? Oh, Candyman. We saw Candyman last week. Yeah. And we didn't do an episode afterwards. Yeah, because I had a fucking up. allergic reaction, dude. Yeah, that's You sucked. said Candyman in the fucking mirror five times. I did not. And I never would do that. Um, that's so stupid. It worked out, though. I was telling Jace, I was like, yeah, I was like, I was kind of glad you guys were running behind because I was running behind. And the reason why I was running behind was because I was trying to find a Glockenspiel sample. On my on my computer, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I know it's in here somewhere, and I was yeah. like looking and looking like, and looking and looking, and I was did like, Did you find it? I found it, oh, and I was nice. like, Oh my god, it's five thirty! Or I was like, It's five o'clock, I gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then, yeah, you guys text me or called me. Yeah, like, it was just crazy. Like I wa- we got into the theater <clears throat> and like we went. You to didn't the- figure out like what did it? No, still no. I have no idea. Our guess is like maybe the weed you smoked or something. Yeah, that pre roll I had, it might have been something with that, but it might have been something in there. It just wasn't. I have no idea. Yeah, I've yeah, it was very fucking scary. It was like my hands got really itchy, and then like you I started the bumps. Yeah, and then I got itchy all over, and then I noticed all the bumps, and then I noticed like my face was swelling up, my hands were swelling up, and I was like, holy fuck, like this is weird. And you know, I luckily ran over and took some Benadryl. But then I was falling asleep during the yeah, entire and trying coma. to stay awake. I mean, luckily I did stay awake for the entire movie. But Benadryl, you, you won't have allergies if you're passed out. Yeah, you know? exactly, uh-huh. dude. And then I just went home and was fell asleep at like <laughs> yeah, like, like immediately. I did confirm that was Ian uh, in that scene. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking awesome. I, texted him. I was like, "Dude, you in Candyman?" He's like, "Yeah, I think so." He's like, "I haven't seen it yet." He's like, "That's cool." Oh, that's funny. <laughs> was he like? Was that staged specifically for that movie? Like. How would it, how did he get recruited to do that? Well, he's done like extra work before. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's been on that show Shameless a few times. Oh shit, I didn't know mm-hmm. that. Just look for the little dreaded dude. And he's Damn. there. Yeah. Fuck, that's funny. And a few other things too. I think I'm not sure what. I like but. that guy a lot. Yeah, he's awesome. I, I haven't seen him in a long. We need time. to get him back on just to catch up with him because I don't even know what he's doing project wise because he's left Zayas for some time now and yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. I don't think they're a band anymore. Oh really? I don't think Zayas does shit. Were they in prosthetic, right? Yeah. Hey, prosthetic. We're available. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know. Are we? <laughs> yeah, right. So we could do our vinyl, let them do it. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's something. But yeah, that was a good movie, though. I did like uh, Candyman. Yeah, that is true. It was funny. I was trying to. I loved it. Tell Franco and Dana about it, but I was like, I don't really want to like spoil it. Yeah, I was like, it's kind of tough. It's hard to talk you know? about it without spoiling it. Too. It really is because then they were asking very specific questions. I was like, I don't want to answer those because like I don't want you to like 
you yeah. gotta go just go into it like as long as you know something about the Candyman lore yeah it's like you're fine because I, I was kind of bummed I didn't watch the first one again it's on Peacock I believe oh uh, really yeah so if anybody <sighs> has that you could watch it there but uh but yeah so for those that don't know it is like a sequel from the first yeah, one and then everything it's else is just sequel. uh it, they just threw it out yeah which I love it when they do that with like sequel. <laughs> like, yeah, thank me you. too. Thank you for doing that. Like the the new Halloween stuff is all yeah after the first one. I was exactly. Like, makes sense. Yeah, the new yeah. one looks crazy. I'm like stoked for it. <laughs> yeah, it looks fucking awesome. Yeah. The last one was really fucking good. The I Halloween like one? wish I watched it again. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, the one that fucking Danny McBride did, right? Right? Wasn't he the one that did that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He co wrote or he directed it? I think he directed it. Uh, I think he co-wrote it. Or maybe he co-wrote it. Let's look. It was good, though. It was cool. I like the way they did it. They had, uh, what's her name? Judy Greer. It's her daughter. And I forget who the granddaughter was. But Jamie and Curtis back at it again. Running for yeah. their life. Always, a, always fun. <laughs> yeah, he was a writer. He did not direct it. And there's going to be a sequel to this? Yeah. I don't think I saw tra- the trailer. Yeah, we saw the trailer at Candyman. Uh, you might have been might grabbing have been a drink. buying popcorn and yeah. shit. Yeah. But it Halloween takes place kills. directly after the end of that last yeah, one. Yeah, I see it. Because I don't know if you remember, but the spoiler alert for that Halloween movie, uh-huh. um, they capture him in like her house, uh-huh. Jimmy Lee Curtis's house, because she set it up for a trap, and like they threw him in the basement and put the house on fire. And beat the shit out of him. I mean, yeah. And shot him in the head him. 18 times. Nah, I didn't shoot him or nothing, but... Uh, and then this one in the very beginning, they show like a fire department showing up and they're like, what the fuck? Don't do it. Like, Don't save him. And then of course he comes out and looks like he just wrecks an entire like group of firemen. <laughs> oh, he does. <laughs> yeah. In the trailer, Jesus. that's what they kind of show. I was like, Oh boy, that should be good. Damn. Yep. Judy Greer's in it again. Mm-hmm. I should rewatch that one. That 2018 one. I wonder if it's streaming anywhere. It's not bad. I like it. Like I said, it's another one of those they just kind of negate all the crappy. Yeah, sequels. I mean, you kind of gotta, right? Yeah, it's kind of nice to rewrite the ship a little bit because it's just like, yeah. yeah, you need to do it. It got out of hand because that was also like a time like that's such a weird time for like horror movies like back in the day, like in the eighties and stuff, and even like nineties. Like you get like this breakout original idea, and it and it. Of course, like it's super low budget because like all the fucking studios are like, ah, this is terrible. Nobody's gonna want to like watch this shit. Sure, we'll release it, but we're not gonna put anything into it. And then it just makes ungodly amounts of money. And they're like, oh, well, let's just fucking bastardize the shit out of this thing and just make sequel, 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 sequel. Yeah. And of course, the integrity of it just goes right down to the crapper, yeah. and it's like you're left with like Halloween Eight, and it's just like, what the yeah, fuck is even H2O. happening? And like, yeah, H two O. Yeah, and then it's like it becomes a byproduct of like you know pop culture, and there's like yeah. whatever cool artist is like. In, and Jamie Lee Curtis boom. is always down. Yeah, she's just like good for I her, know. I guess. <laughs> she's a fucking loyal a one. Dude, have you ever seen In the Mouth of Madness? It's a John Carpenter movie. Oh, Sam Neill, uh, no. Charlton Heston's in it. I don't think so. Dude, it's sick. I would yeah. love to watch that movie with you just to see your reaction. <laughs> to it. I'm down. Yeah. Where can we watch it? Oh, uh, I don't know anywhere? where it's streaming. I should look. It probably is. I saw it at the music box a few years ago. Stoked for the new Marvel movie. <laughs> what is it? Uh, Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings. Uh, no, I don't even know anything about that. I don't even know who the fuck that is. Shane Chi, is he new? I don't know. I mean, he's, uh, I think he's an older character, but I don't know. Okay. Dick about him. This is going to be his first movie though, right? Yes. Oh, it's not streaming anywhere. Really? At yeah, all? Yeah. No, you got to buy it. On it. Prime? You got to rent it. Yeah. It's like two ninety nine on Prime or YouTube. Exactly. It's a good ass movie though. It's fucking weird, mm. but I like it a lot. Marv likes it a lot too. Shout like out Sam Marv. Marv. Huh? I like Sam Neill. Yeah, he's he's sick in it. But uh, what were we just talking about? Not that. Before that. Rewind the tape. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, what were we just talking about? P 
People are yelling at us right now. God damn it. It was this, you fucking morons. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, I'm high. <laughs> I'm sober. Yeah, you're sober. Uh, Can't remember. I don't know. It wasn't uh, Sam Neill. Something Neo. about movies. Yeah. We were talking about, uh, I don't remember what it was. Probably God some horror movie. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. I'm like high by proxy, I guess. Yeah, you might be, you. man. <laughs> I still haven't even finished this bowl either. Consumption King right here. That's good, dude. I didn't need to burn what? through all this. Oh, oh no, we were talking about uh, the new Marvel. Shang-Chi. Yes, okay, Shang-Chi. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know anything about what's going on with the Marvel shit anymore. That's fair. <laughs> what's the last movie? Black Widow. Oh, and this is going to be the first one since then? But Black Widow like just came out. I know. Yeah. And Shang Chi. There was a break in between all that shit. When does that come out? It's out right now. Is that on HBO? No. You have to go to the movie to see that yeah. one. Okay. It'll be on Disney eventually. Did you see it? No, not yet. It's been way too packed. To go. Are you gonna go? Yeah, yeah, I'll go eventually. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I don't know who Shang Chi is. Is anybody else from the universe in it? Um. What's his name? Wong is in it from. Uh, Oh, okay. Doctor Strange. I yeah. think at least it looked like him in the trailer. I think that new Spider-Man movie is probably going to be sick. I'll that watch looks that. Insane. Yeah. <laughs> like With Tobey Maguire in it everybody and stupid ass like Andrew Garfield and Willem Dafoe. Yeah, I'll be going. <laughs> I hate it. The Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movies. I hated so much. I never saw the first one, but I did see the second uh, same, one. Same, I think. Which is not Awful. the way you should go into it like, yeah at least watch the first one i think i think that one jimmy fox better. is gonna be this new one too yeah yeah but they're gonna make him like look more like electro all right and try to make it better yeah blue icy pop yeah jesus <laughs> it's so weird and make him hit those things in like a musical note and like, yeah oh. oh man yeah dude that movie was rough yeah but that was like the last dying gasp from fox to hold on to yeah IP. that's why yeah that is we gotta true. do something <laughs> well i mean i was a kid when all the toby Maguire movies were coming out so growing up with those it was like the big yeah, shit, that's shit you know yeah. yeah i mean looking back they're not great at least no not, they're not the great one, movies I think is probably still good i don't remember the third one's horrible third one's just a yeah dude i saw show. that opening night I was in, I think it was in I high I school. Too, yeah. I was like a freshman in high school and my buddy got us tickets and we went to the Lake Theater. It was like this big deal, dude. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Were you disappointed, disappointed? afterwards? Yeah, or were you, okay. Yeah, because they fucked up Venom so bad. Like, that was bad. And fucking Topher Grace is not a convincing Eddie Brock. I'm, I actually want to see that new Venom movie. I'm going to see Dude, that. that one. The Carnage one with sick. fucking Woody. I'm uh, all in on that. I'm going to buy like a 4X Carnage all over print <laughs> Kmart t shirt. Let's play Maximum Carnage and then go watch it. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Sick game. Um, that, the, the other Venom movie is pretty good. It's not great, but it's good. It's, I see. I've saw it. I mean, I've Tom seen Hardy's it. I like that movie. Vastly better than. I like Topher that Grace. Venom movie. Yeah. I thought it was way better than the other one, but yeah. with Carnage in it, like, come on. And Woody Harrelson. Like, yeah. Which is kind of fucking stupid. I, th- I don't know. I love Woody really? Harrelson. Why? Who would you like to see instead? Play that. Dude. What's the guy's um, name? Scott something no, or Cassidy? Cassidy, yeah. It's, uh, who would I, Jim Carrey would be no. sick for that? Yeah, because he's insane in the comics, dude. And he's got like Carrot Top would have been sick because he's no. got the crazy red hair. Yeah, Carrot uh, Top. Carrot Top no. would have been awesome. <laughs> Watch Chairman uh, of the Board, and then you'll change your mind about that. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of who else. I don't know. I'm excited to see what Woody Harrelson like play that role. It's just going to be weird. I feel like because I feel like he's not naturally a villain. I've never seen him be villainous really in anything. He's always like a hero or like a good guy or like an anti hero. Yeah. yeah, like in uh, fucking. In did you watch uh, a solo? No, I was actually going to say. Did you, <laughs> did you watch? Is he in that? Yeah. In solo, who does he play? forgot but he's who gives him his blast oh you're right you're right you're right he's um, kind of anti-hero on i was gonna say have you seen uh that show uh true Cheers. detective he was in oh hell yeah 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 hell yeah he's like the an anti-hero in that yeah yeah i don't know if he's necessarily an anti-hero in that well he's like a shitty dad and an alcoholic uh, and yeah, he fucks he up his marriage you know what i mean it's <laughs> like hey, she does what yeah he's, he's exactly it's like a, one of those complex <laughs> characters it's like how tony soprano is like yeah, an anti-hero yeah, you know true. like yeah okay you're right <laughs> um 
Hell but, yeah, uh, that first season. Treated yeah, it's amazing. Out. You know what I mean? Yeah, I need to watch that one again. So it's weird to me that he's going to play this like crazy dude with red hair. But like, I haven't seen... I'm not going to judge it until I, I see it. Do it. I think he's going to be I good. think it's going to be... I'm gonna just be really excited good. to see it. I yeah. think it's going to be sick as fuck because like, it pays tribute to that sick, like dark urban era of like superhero shit like spawn and carnage shirts and venom shirts and shit like that like that whole era where like yeah i mean like i thought like all that shit was sick so i would definitely see that movie even if it's just like because it's like to me it's like okay it's its own thing i don't have to see eight billion movies to figure it out now (laughs) and it's just like you know i know that shit and i liked that shit when i was younger like that was one of the only like things i was really into so by the time you know, now rolls around. <laughs> I'd be willing to see it. When does it come out? I don't know. It's this year, I think. Yeah, I feel like sooner rather than later. Yeah, I definitely. Excuse me. If you're going to go see that, I'll go with for sure. It's got to be in between like Marvel movies so that they make some money. <laughs> yeah, is it because it's a Fox movie, right? Technically, so. they're a Fox or is property. It like the Dark Marvel or whatever. I don't know. What like is the, Dark Marvel? Like Blade is like under that kind of moniker. Oh. Yeah, the new They're one. They're making that's coming a new out? blade. Yeah, I know with Marshall Ali or whatever. Dude, that's so sick. Yeah, that's gonna be. Did the you shit. see that article with Stephen Dorff? Like all salty about it. Yeah, so funny. I was like, shut the fuck up, dude. Yeah, okay, you little motherfucker. Yeah, Chill. stupid. I'm just saying, you know, the best one's the one I'm in, and that or me and that director yeah. crushed it. It's like okay, okay. <laughs> whatever. And he's just like, all right, you know, Marshall Ali's, you know, he's a sick. Is that actor, gonna be produced but- by Disney? Or is that Marvel Dark? Disney? No, it's, it's part of the Marvel Universe. I think. Okay. I think. Yeah. Weird. And then there's also, which I'm not too stoked on, is the Mobius. Or is it Mobius? Oh, yeah, with Jared, Jared Leto. Leto. Yeah. I kind of want to see that. I know it's going to I'm going to watch it. Yeah. For sure. There's no way I'm not going to watch it, but I'm not. I do want to see that. That's a, that's, a, that's that. a Fox one, too, though, right? I believe so. I, I don't know if it's part of like the universe, though. Morbius. Oh, yeah. If it's a Fox one, then no. Um, Columbia Pictures, Marvel okay. Entertainment, Sony Pictures. Okay, so it's not technically part yeah. of it. Which is weird Man. Like, that they own that character. But all right. <laughs> also, like, why? You know, like, why are they making a fucking Mobius movie? Cash grab. Total cash grab. Because the Marvel stuff is still so popular. They're like, ah, kids just love... You know, these superhero movies. But like, Morbius was like a Spider-Man villain. Right. I mean, probably because Venom did well enough, right? That they probably yeah. just like, fuck it. Morbius sucks, though. Like, he sucked in the comics. It was like, oh, a vampire? Like, Well, in the cartoon, he was like not a vampire, but was like, he didn't take blood. He took like something else. Yeah, whatever. It's so funny because it's a Saturday morning cartoon. Like, we can't have a Oh, yeah. In the blood. comic, he took blood. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm excited to see like how they make his face look fucked up and shit. I think that'll be cool, but otherwise, I'm not very. Uh, I don't have hopes up for that. And it's also just like, man, this guy was already a bad Joker. Like, can't we? Yeah, isn't there you know, anybody else available? Yeah, can we figure something out? <laughs> Anything else fuck. out? Like, yeah, I don't know. And then who else? Who's the bad? Guy? Oh, Hunger is the bad guy. Who's even that? I don't even know Morbius. This is so fucking stupid. Yeah, that's crazy. I forgot about this movie because I remember when it was announced and I was thinking like, what the fuck is this? There's like Like, a teaser for it, but there's not a trailer. Yeah. Well, no thank you, but I definitely want to see it actually. Yeah, I mean, I enjoy my fair share of train wrecks. Yeah, me too. And like superhero train wrecks are the shit. You know, Ben Affleck Daredevil. So good. Yeah, when Uh, they're off the rails, it's awesome. Yeah, fucking... uh, Eric Bana Hulk. Yeah. That's like even the Edward Norton ones like rough at times for sure. I liked it the first time I, I like saw it, it when it came out. I, I like want to rewatch more it more than the Eric Bana one, but oh, it's still, yeah. it doesn't really. Well, who's, hold up too long. Um, who's the and bad guy? In the that? Women in what was the name of the bad guy in that one? It was like the other guy, the big monstrosity or something. Almost like that. Yeah. Abomination. Abomination. That was cool though. That I was like cool. The they had actor, him in there. Uh, was that Eli? Roth? Not Eli Roth. Eli. Or Tim Roth, Tim Roth, Tim Roth, yeah. Um, I love that guy. That guy's a great fucking. I know actor. it was very weird. He's he played Abomination. It was a little but... weird that I was like, "This is supposed to be this intimidating military guy." Like, yeah. All right, but did we see the Hateful Eight together in theaters? 
Was that I saw you it and twice. Franco? I think I saw yeah. it with you and then I saw it with my friend Christina. I love him in that ago. movie. He was phenomenal yeah, in, that great movie. in that movie. So yeah. good. Yeah. What was his, like the name? I forget his fake name. His fucking. Uh, Wasn't it Mobius something? Yeah, something Mobius. Yeah. I think it was his alias. His like British alias. So good. But like he was actually. Like, Did a, you watch the extended cut of that? Yeah. Fuck. I yeah. don't even know what was added. I, I was don't like, either. This is just as it sick just as I remember. It feels exactly the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I don't know. You'd have to A and B that. And that's like a hard movie to sit through twice in a row. Right. Because there's so I'm, much dialogue. I'm guessing like every scene just must have had like an extra like. 10, 15 seconds. Cause that there's so have, many yeah. fucking scenes that if you do that, it's going to add up real yeah, fast. Yeah. That's what I would see. You know, maybe I, more extended cuts for certain yeah, scenes. Like I like could tell the cameras goes a little bit longer. The outdoor something. scene was longer. There was a little more shit like at the beginning where it's all oh, inserting. And, there was some more shit there. Catch up with like, yeah, mm-hmm. there was added dialogue to that. But like, yeah, yeah is it not? Or it was on Netflix. It it's, probably it's still, still on there. Yeah, yeah. Like both versions are on there. Seinfeld is nowhere now because it's going to be, it's a, it's now going to transition back to Netflix. Seinfeld. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I started watching it on Hulu like months ago. Seinfeld was on Hulu. It used to be on Netflix mm. like a long time ago. And then Hulu acquired it. Now and now, going back to and now nice Netflix relicensed it. And I think Hulu lost it in July. Shit. But like, Netflix hasn't put it up yet. They probably won't put it up till like the fall. Sons of bitches. Yeah, stupid. I forgot where I left off. It's like, so dumb how that licensing works for that shit. Yeah, yeah. Got to make money somehow. And it's like they got to take turns so people can get more subscribers. And yeah, <laughs> I feel like I watch Netflix the least now. I, the only thing I use Netflix for now is to watch like stand up specials that I like and like go to bed sure. too. That's like it. Yeah, but I usually. When I do try to watch something legitimately, it's usually on Hulu right now because I've been trying to watch that show, uh, Elementary. I think I mentioned it before, the Sherlock Holmes, like modern day one, which has been good. That show's pretty cool. Um, Is that the one with Benedict Cumberbatch? No, not that one. Um, It's the one with uh, Johnny Lee Miller. Okay. I don't know who that is. I don't know this show. Have you ever seen the movie Hackers? (laughs) Like one of my favorite movies. It's a bad movie, but it's like one of my favorite movies. He's in that. Um, did you ever see uh, Train Spotting? No, oh, I haven't fuck. actually. Um, I've heard he is Sick Boy in that. He's good. He's sick Boy. Yeah, that's his name. That's his like nickname in the movie. Oh, cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I like the show so far. It's been fun. It's like one of those shows where it's like, it's like, oh yeah, you're like real smart for watching this because like I understand what's going on. It's like, dude, they're just dumbing down everything. Yeah, you know, and it's like you're not smart for watching this. <laughs> but I know there's people out there. It's like I feel like I'm. I get it. I could be a detective. You know, like oh, that kind yeah. of shit. Yeah, because it was on CBS or whatever. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's an interesting, you know, like, because I don't know much about Sherlock Holmes or any of the lore about it, but every once in a while I'll catch, like, you know, they mentioned, like, the names of a lot of the characters are pretty, like, notable, you know? Like, you've always heard them out, and then, like, and they interject it in the show, and you're like, that seems kind of like an odd name. Like, that's got to be something actually okay. from the stories yeah. and I have to like look into it. It was like, they did an interesting, like the big story, like Hans of Baskerville. Yeah. Um, okay. In this version, because it's modern day instead of hounds, it was a fucking like one of those robots, like the four legged robots. Yeah. What's it? Wait, what was it called again? House of hounds of Baskerville. Hounds of Baskerville. Remember Steve Baskerville, the fucking like attorney that used to have commercials like on like the TV yeah. and shit. Steve Baskervilles and like Basqueville. yeah, I remember one time like <laughs> I forget where we were, but my dad made some joke a long time ago like aligning Steve Baskerville with the Hounds of Baskerville. Fair enough. From like that, and I, I was like, that. wow, that's like now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, that's great humor. Now I'm in. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking <laughs> sick, dude. Steve Baskervilles, man. Yeah, but anyway, go on. Uh, that's it. I don't want to talk too much about that show. Yeah. I don't think anybody cares. <laughs> I've never like, I, you know what? Like I've uh, so many adaptations. I feel like of Sherlock Holmes now oh, in the yeah. world. And like, I never, I don't know too much about it. I never read any of it in school. Um, yeah. I've never, I don't think I've ever read a Sherlock. Holmes yeah. Story. But, uh, I remember seeing, cause wasn't the Benedict Cumberbatch show just called Sherlock or I, something like that. I believe so. Yeah. I um, remember watching that like once at a friend's place and thinking like, this is okay. I saw like, the season finale of that or the series finale of it. And it's a short series, right? It's I, just well, like, yeah, cause it's like BBC, isn't it? Yeah. Like so it's like what four or five episodes. A yeah. Season whatever the fun. fuck. Yeah. 
Yeah, that shit's nuts, man. I like that. I like it too. Because <laughs> I uh, rewatched IT Crowd and I went through the whole series in like, you know, a couple days. That's like whenever I watch Peep Show because that show's only like <laughs> six seasons or eight seasons, but the episodes, there's like the seasons are so short. Right. It's like six episodes or something like that. Have you ever watched that show? Mm-mm. I feel like you would love that show. Pretty good from a few people. Yeah, it's on Hulu, I think. Is it? Yeah, it's so fucking funny. It's like almost it's got like some curb your enthusiasm vibes but i think it's like def- it's definitely much more british for mm-hmm. sure but uh i i don't know i almost like it more in a way i yeah. actually i don't know it's different but it's great it's a great show that's one of those shows alex showed me that i was like this is awesome like really funny shit it's good hmm. i recommend it maybe i'll check it out yeah if you have the time but like I like, said, I've been like whatever free time I have, I've just been doing working on music and like that's sick. I just get too tired to like watch, watch something that I want to concentrate on. So that's yeah, when I just put on like one of those stands. I just have Sopranos out. on all the time now. <laughs> and I like because I have nothing else to watch, and it's just easy to put on in the background and then play Zelda all day, which is exactly <laughs> you, what I did today. You know it, so yeah. yeah. And I'm probably gonna do that honestly when I get home. So. Nice. Play some uh, fucking Zelda. Yeah, dude, I beat the last temple. Ooh, so now I just said temple was it? It was the Stone Tower Temple, <laughs> which is the like. There's only four temples in Majora's Mask. Because mm-hmm. um, like, do you know the concept of that game? Have we talked about that on here it's already? Like the time. Yeah, you stuff. only get three days technically worth of time in the game. Yeah. To complete it, so the idea is like you go back in time to re- to beat different events and be at different places and different times. It was like totally like. A w- insane concept, oh, at yeah. least for the time oh. being, and uh, so you have to. I had a, I beat the last temple today. There's only four in the game total, but this one is like it's so fucking long because it's it's like upside down. Like you, the part of the dungeon, like what you have to do is like turn it literally to face on the ceiling, so you're walking on like the ceiling. Mm. It's really hard because it's it's essentially like. You do the dungeon one way and then you flip it upside down and then you finish it by doing the other side of it. And uh, it's got a really cool fucking boss battle because like the, the concept of Majora's Mask is you get you collect all these different masks in the game because um, Majora's Mask is the the bad guy, essentially. OK. Yeah. It's like Skull Kid is one of the minor characters from Ocarina. You remember like you play that song with him in the woods. He's like the scarecrow looking dude. He ends up getting a hold of Majora's Mask and it possesses him and he gets the moon to come down and like fuck everybody up. And you have three days to save <laughs> the moon from fucking everybody up. So the idea is you rescue those big red giant guys and they're the spirits that like all the bosses from the temples have taken over. So every time you beat a boss, it shows a cut scene of them. Like, have you ever seen them? Have you ever played smash bros? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you ever played smash bros melee for GameCube? Probably that there's a stage in that game, uh, based on the great Bay temple in Majora's mask, just called great Bay. And like in the background, the moon starts coming down and then you could see the four giants come up and like push it back up. Yeah which is really sick, but I never knew what that was from back then because oh, I never played okay. the game. I never had an N64 because I'm playing on my 3DS, mm-hmm. um, which is cool because it's remastered and shit and like revisited. So they fixed a bunch of shit that was way too hard in the past and it's a lot of fun. But nice. uh, man, what a fucking weird game, dude. There's some <laughs> dark shit in it where well, it's I'm just sure, like, yeah. this is like weird for a kid's game. Like, yeah, insane shit. <laughs> like you find out like, I don't know, I'm not going to get too into it, but it is sick. And uh, Gabe's going to yell at you. I just got the, yeah, fuck yeah, Gabe. No more <laughs> drum videos. Uh, <laughs> I got the great fairy sword today, <laughs> which is the most powerful sword in the game. Nice. Which is sick. Yeah, I love that. And that's what's <laughs> cool about those uh, N64 era Zelda games was you could do all this extra shit to get like a powerful weapon to just fuck motherfuckers up with, dude. I'm actually grinding now because I have to get 5,000 rupees and because in that game, like the, the idea is when you rewind time, uh, you lose like all of your items in your inventory, unless they're like key items, like things you get in dungeons oh, and stuff like that. Fuck, really? So all the money you have will be gone. All the arrows or bombs or other things you've collected are gone. You have to go like farm them back. 
but there's like a bank you could deposit them at your rupees, like your money. Um, and then it still collects over time. So you te- it's technically, as long as you deposit them and you still go back in time, they're still there. You just got to take them out. Bank, uh... Which is, yeah, it's a very weird system, <laughs> but like, uh, they actually improved it much more over the N64 version. So but... interest rates. Now. <laughs> yeah, there are interest rates. Oh, yeah. You do get interest. It's like five That's extra awesome. bucks for like every hundred you do. De- I forget what it is, but nice. I'm trying to get 5,000 total in there because that's when you get a free piece of heart. Cause you remember you get the four pieces of heart gives you another Very heart container. Heart. Yeah, dude, um, that shit is hard. They make you <laughs> like, and the, cause I'm trying to 100% this. I'm playing it with a walkthrough mm. and like some of the shit you do to get one piece of heart is like, this is so dumb right? and like agitating. Cause the thing is, is like some of the side quests you have to do after you beat a certain temple and you have a three day cycle to do that. So you have to beat that temple in enough time and then have enough time to do these side quests. And if you fuck up some of them by like the hair, mm-hmm. you got to do it all over from scratch. I mean, mm-hmm. luckily they made it a little easier in this game. So you don't have to go through the temple again. You just have to fight the boss again. So it oh, okay. saves you a lot of time, which is sick. Uh, But it's still like frustrating because there were so many times where like I was following a walkthrough and like they don't even mention it until after the fact. And I'm like, fuck, I wasn't even paying attention to the time. (laughs) Like, but that's what makes that game so sick because it just adds that like weird flair to it. Because Ocarina of Time is a pretty like linear game for the most part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you go to different spots, you beat different dungeons. There's a ton of different temples in that game. There's like eight different temples in that game. It's sick. I love it. And I, I beat that before I beat this game. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I can, I've been trying to get like the experience because I bought, they just put out Skyward Sword, um, which was a Wii U Zelda game, I believe. Or no, a Wii Zelda game that I didn't have. They remastered it for the Switch. And then I was like, oh, I'll get this and beat it. And then I was like, you know what? I want to play the other ones first. So I'm trying to beat all the ones I never beat. And then, nice, you know, oh, yeah. go from there. And this week, WarioWare comes out for the Switch. So, was it WarioWare? Was that? Oh my god! I know Wario. Yeah. Like- so WarioWare is a is a mini game series. It's like, oh man, if you never played it, you might love it, dude. <laughs> it started out on Game Boy Advance, and it was just like a series of these really small mini games that are like absurd. Like you got to trim nose hairs and shit and like do all this weird do shit. Enough of that in real life. Yeah. It's, it's it. sick though. It's like really fun and like gross and weird. And, uh, yeah, there's a new, uh, new version for it coming out on the switch, which I'm like so fucking hyped for. Hmm. I love that game series. I have, aware? yeah, oh, I'm surprised you've never heard of it. Yeah. Check it out. It's I really fucking really- sick. I mean, I never had a Super Nintendo. I had a Nintendo, so like, okay. I never really fucked with Nintendo that much. All that much. Yeah. I never had a. Wii. I had a Wii, but I <clears throat> all I had was the Wii Sports, and I just that was for my mom because she liked it. And then I never got a Wii U. I don't have a Switch. Like, okay, sure, but yeah, but yeah. I missed out on a lot of like really cool like Nintendo like. That maybe. makes sense. I just figure like because I know that series has been like I've seen it around a lot, but maybe that's because I've played all the games, you know. But uh, that's like what Wario became because they Wario's original games, like his first few games were like uh, Game Boy games. Mm -hmm. They were just platformers. It was Wario Land. It was Wario Land like one through three. And the first one was just a linear platformer. And uh, the next two became more like nonlinear and open a little bit. But uh, then when Game Boy Advance came around, they did Wario Land 4, and then they stopped doing the platform. And when that was like developed by a third party, too, I believe. Uh, it was still sick, hmm. but then they, Nintendo started doing the WarioWare games, which was like, basically, they came up with this whole weird... I'm just going to show you one picture <laughs> yeah, to get you the yeah, vibe yeah. of it, but like, it's just very... <laughs> Like all these crazy ass characters that are very colorful and vivid, and it, the idea is Wario is is has like a game company, mm. and he's working on making games. So these are all like people in his staff that like he's been hiring to like do shit with. This was the box art uh, for the first game. Okay. Yeah. So it's very like colorful, like shit. But what's what's cool is um. One of the like each character, like you play their own series of games and they're all a little different from each other. And one of the characters has like uh, 
a classic NES and Super Nintendo like vibe. So every game is based off like a Super Nintendo game or like a classic oh, Nintendo yeah. game. It's so sick. Hmm. You would, I think you would like it. You'll have to come over and play it when yeah, I get oh, it. Yeah. That'd be fun. yeah, it's really fun. And it's that's the whole thing about this one is that it's multiplayer. Like oh, cool. the whole thing is like a co op game, and then there's like a whole party mode and shit. So, and I'm stoked because like Max and Alex like the WarioWare games. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it'll nice. be fun. It'll be a fun tour game too. Ah, there you go. Yeah, right. man. That's everything this week has also made me want to do is tour again. So I'm just like, oh, fuck. yeah. Seeing all these shows and yeah. stuff. And uh, yeah, it's just weird. It's it was, like we were talking the other night, like just how it's like, oh, yeah, like this thing last year. And you're like, oh, wait, that wasn't last year. It was the year before. Exactly. Because I'm like, yeah, last year. And I'm like, oh, I can't say that anymore. Oh, it was like because that whole year. Yeah, it washed, sucks. Kind of weird to think that. Yeah, it's been a year and a half since we did a show. Yeah. And like. It doesn't feel like it, but it does feel like it. It's weird. It's a weird feeling that I've just it's never. It's super weird. Like, I mean, you probably never experienced either. It's just like once I started doing shows, it was just. It never stopped. Shows, yeah. And, I, and it never stopped for me. I was always in bands, always doing something. Yeah. And even if one band ended, I was already in another band, already doing stuff. And even if you weren't doing something in a band, you could always go to a show too, you know? It's right. like that shit yeah. never stopped. You know, and at least catch up with like all yeah. my friends that like I see at shows and stuff. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Like it just, it was just strange to like, yeah, to see like all our friends in one place. It just felt so good. I was like, wow, this is yeah. cool. This I is missed crazy. Max and Alex a shitload. Yeah, I wish I I could have been there. They couldn't make it, but I understand. Yeah. It's all good. It was great. Jason made it out. So that was, yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. That was <laughs> and he awesome. helped out, which is cool. So that was so that. funny, dude. When Jace came out of the van, I was like, whoa, this is sick. Like, well, it was very funny excited. We were, we were hanging out the bottle and like, we were ready to go. And I was like, are you good? And he's like, uh, he's like, ah, he's like, I don't know. It was like him and Han. I was like, well, I was like, like, what are you trying to do? I was like, you're not driving, right? He's like, no. Nah. He's like, I was just like, I can wait for like an Uber. And I was like, I was like, uh, I was like, were you good to like wait? Like, cause I almost didn't want to leave him behind. And I was like, I mean, yeah. You can jump in the van if you want. Like, uh-huh. he's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, I'll just go with you guys. I'm like, all right, yeah, fine. Sick. You know, just, as long as you're better safe than sorry. You yeah, know? <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, it was so sick. I was like, oh, sick. <laughs> he had that sick river shirt too. That tie dye one. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, it was shirt. awesome. It was, cool. it was a really cool shirt. I almost bought that one. I'm glad he did though. <laughs> so, it was good shit. Nice. Well, well, yeah, man. Shall we? Yeah, it's fucking ten o'clock. But most people have tomorrow off, unlike myself. You don't have tomorrow? Fuck no. I'm actually taking tomorrow off. Nice. Yeah. Normally we celebrate Labor Day by doing labor, but I was like, fuck that, man. Yeah, no, we don't get Labor Day off at that. So. I mean, it's not really labor, right? What you do? I guess, <laughs> right? You're not moving gear. No. <laughs> not moving shit. Just fucking typing shit. Fair Whatever. Enough. It's going to be fine. I don't care. <laughs> going to work on some shit anyway. Do you have any to plug? We don't have a show. So I, don't, I don't know what to plug. <laughs> Nothing. I got show. nothing to plug. <laughs> um, this week I'm on Cali Death Podcast, so I could plug that technically. How soon will that episode I air? think when it'll be so if you're listening to this, it should air that Thursday, I believe. Oh, cool. So Thursday, I'm on the fucking Cali Death with Alex. So listen, I think, yeah. So for now, that's what the plan is. So could change. I have no idea, but hopefully that's a go and uh that's gonna be the shit. So Hell yeah. I'm very excited for that. And I will not be baked. So, <laughs> you know, I'm not a fucking fool embarrassing <laughs> myself in front of those guys. They just do it sober. Well, That's those nice. dudes get like fucked up and drunk and shit, which is sick. But like, yeah, I'll probably wait if I'm going to do anything, you know? Fair enough. Hell yeah. But get yeah. A couple minutes and then get high. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, and I'm plugging our merch. We got two new fucking shirt designs on our band camp right the fuck now. So get on there and buy this shit, please. What's our URL for that? Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's Roman Ring Music. You can just search. Just search Roman Ring, Ring Band Camp on Google. You will find it. Yeah. Buy some of our stuff, guys, and then yep. we'll do even more cool stuff. Corn <laughs> sick and galop. Corn silk corn and Galapagos sick. blue. Corn sick. Corn sick. Yeah, dude. This shit's coming corn sick, dude. Too much corn syrup. Corn all, uh, yellow and yeah. Can't think of a funny word for Galapagos. <laughs> yeah, I know. Lacey bought the yellow one. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Absolutely. Well, sick. Very good. Yeah, I got nothing to plug other than the shirts. Me um, either. Yeah. Oh, no shows lined up. Nope. 
that I can say yet, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Something is waiting. It's supposed to do something. Okay. I just, I never know anymore. <laughs> yeah. I just show up and play, man. That's all I do. Yeah. And who could predict it now? You know, it's just like, who knows what the I fuck's going to fly in a well, month from now. One last thought, like one thing that popped in my head that I was thinking about the way things are with like all these like big tours that are just dropping left and right because of COVID and like, yeah, and it's crazy and I get it. I understand it because it's, you know, it's traveling is definitely far more dangerous than anything. Whereas now it seems like this is kind of a good moment for local bands because yeah, it's just like, it's kind of like, it's kind of a bubble, you know, like we're not really going anywhere. So we're all kind of sticking around here. And people are just anxious for shows, whether it's a big show or not. It's like, this is like a local show is like the next best thing you'll get to going to a fucking show. Like, you know, it's yeah. your only options guys. So yeah, you got to come out to our shows. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you want to experience like live music in any capacity, like it's kind of like now's the time for local shows. As, as long as we can do it safely. I mean, so far so good. We'll see how this one went. You know, we'll know in a couple <laughs> days if anything Hopefully, you know, fingers crossed. Every it seemed like everybody was yeah. doing good, so I think we're all right. Yeah, yeah. I feel fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I feel good. I feel oh, fine. Yeah. Other than physically, I'm like <clears throat> yeah, tired as fuck. Tired, but yeah. No, it was great. That was a lot of fun. And thanks, yeah. thanks everybody. That, you know, yeah, for to real. The show Thank and, you guys came out to the show, and it was awesome. It was fuck really, yeah, really great. It was probably like highlight of the year for sure. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> Hell like yeah. I said, we don't do another show ever again. I'm yeah, it was a great COVID, one. Then I'm fine. Yeah. That, that works for me. <laughs> it was a good one, <laughs> but cool. We'll see. Well, all right, we'll see everybody uh, next week. We shall yeah. indeed. Alrighty, y'all. Bye. Bye. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for checking out this week's episode. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, feel free to drop us a like or a comment on whatever platform you uh, listen or watch us on. Uh, share us on whatever social media you use. Every little bit counts, so we appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next week.